Yes, yeah, top of the morning. We are right back. Um, we're right back for you. Early in the in the game for you, right? And what we're gonna do is this is part two, man. I tell you, I got time today, so we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Um, we're gonna discuss some of the other things that I was mentioning as far as the brand killers, right? And we'll show, I'm gonna show y'all, man. You know, the the, the equipment is up, man. The equipment, the equipment is up. Okay, I'm reloaded. Okay, I'm reloaded. I'm reloaded, man. So, what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to play some audio, right? But I, first, I want to go over here. I want to go over here to Twitter, to the Twitterverse, right? I want to go over here to Twitter. Um, I'm going to play some audio as we are up and running. You know, these guys ain't doing this, man. They, 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 what these guys do... You know, they, they do what they do. We do what we do, right? So let me make sure you guys are hearing me good. And then I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. But I want to make sure y'all are hearing me. This is part two. So I'm, I'm going to show you how these guys, these, these internet guys killed Kill, they they kill brands right because they <clears throat> they paint pictures right mm. they paint pictures and narratives and then when the narratives um do not add up these guys um are lost they're lost and then how they tried to um Flips the script. For years, homeowners didn't have any place to call for design and product questions. They might spend hours debating between the right floor, color, and thickness. Design services change that. It gives you the opportunity to schedule a free, no obligations appointment with one of our design experts to ask the questions that matter most to you. Design services makes it easy for you to get the advice you need. Appointments are 100% free and virtual. So pajamas on the couch is a perfectly fine setup. Our team of experts is extensively trained, so we're equipped for all your questions. And scheduling appointment is... All right, we're going to make sure you can hear me good. We're going to make sure you can hear me good. And then I'm going to kill it for y'all. Good. All right, yeah, you hear me loud and clear. That's perfect. All right. So this is part two of, you know, how they talking about Devin Haney's tickets ain't selling and Ryan Garcia, right? Now we're going to examine some of the reasons why, right? Now you have a lot of content creators on here that are pro Devin Haney channels. They've been pushing... um you know, the Devin Haney brand for quite some time on the internet. I'm going to play some of these guys' audio, right? Um, when I play the audio, I'm going to highlight the fact that how a lot of these guys, right? It goes back to what I was saying about goods and services. They offer up nothing in boxing other than gimmicks, charades, scamming, fuckery, and bullshit. Not all of them, but some of them, right? Shout out to the ones that do be out there in the field, right? But I think, like, a lot of the ones that be out there in the field, right? Because some of the guys I'm going to play, I have covered fights with them. I've seen them out. Um, but I just think when it comes to the internet, right, they succumb to 
the bullshit, the gimmicks, and it shows in their work and it shows in their leadership quality skills because there's not a lot of leaders on the internet. It is what it is. You see, it's got a lot of these guys follow and they, 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 they don't, they've been following for so long that now they don't follow the wrong people and um, the wrong, what did I call it yesterday? The source print. They don't follow the wrong blueprints and it, it got them all fucked up. So for the longest, we have heard all of these things about Devin Haney, about him being, um, you know, Bill. But that's Bill's job. Bill is a, a hype man to me, right? That's his job. He's his father. He's supposed to do that. But a lot of you other guys uh, you really have no relation with Devin Haney. So for you guys to jump on that wave, and supposed to be fans and people that are have some type of integrity, journalists, media, and you guys are pushing this. It says a lot about Shaw, right? So the narrative has been for quite some time that Bill put it out there, Devin Haney's the new face of boxing. Um, you know, they sold out. Um his hometown fight and doing all these big things, right? Then when the layers started getting peeled back and he wasn't the big commodity, right? This is what these guys do now, right? This is how they move the goalpost. When it started getting peeled back that Devin wasn't this big draw and this commodity, what happened? Um, you know, oh, he was 25. He's this, he's this. When these guys were that age, they wasn't doing that. It's not about that. You see, you guys can't put out that he's doing these things and he's this big guy, this big thing. And then when it, the, the truth starts coming to the light and he's not that, then you want to switch it up and say, oh, well, at 25, these guys wasn't doing that. These No, why would they? Remember, Devin got to start at 17 also, man. He should be doing, you know, achieving things earlier than a lot of guys especially since he got started at 17. but a lot of you brand killers want him to be bigger than what he is right isn't you know he's not that big yet and then i played the the reason shit to show you that right you guys is on here putting the narrative out that you know fighting devin haney for Shakur, for all these other guys, they're going to make the biggest payday. And you just heard his last dance partner say that he received no back end. But we had content creators on here, you know, doing what they do. But let, let, let's get to some of these content creators, man. Their audio. I'm going to play their audio. I'm not going to play their videos. I'll play their audio. Because I know how these guys do. These guys like to report channels. But if I don't if I don't play their their actual content, right? I mean the the video, I don't think it should be a problem. I'm gonna get to this guy too, Richard Hitchison. He man, he had his foot in his mouth. I'll get to him at some point, so I'll leave him right here. But I wanna play um some of this stuff. I'm going to play some of this stuff. All right. The, you know, these guys are the, the, the infamous brand killers. Here, you know, here's a brand killer right here. Right? If this, this, now, this brand killer guy right here, right? Um... This guy doesn't do nothing, really. He goes to no fights, right? Grown-ass computer internet guy, right? Doesn't attend no events. Loves to run plays. They, I, I, I watched the, um, I watched the, uh, a podcast, and they were speaking to this gentleman, and I laughed. I was like, man, this is why the internet is weirdled out, right? They were speaking to this guy and 
talking about he looks at contracts. He, yeah, you know, he's like the internet Al Heyman to me. I'm mean, that's what I'm gonna say. You know, how Al Heyman is this ill dude and nobody sees him. This is this guy. Nobody sees him that fight. He's a consultant. He does all these things, right? Yeah, yeah, he does. He does all these things, but you, you never been to a fight card. <laughs> yeah, you're a, you're a leader, but you lead from where? The computer, the internet. You don't you don't even pop out to nothing, right? But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play his uh, brand killing. Damn. This guy right here fell off too, man. I get ah, man. It's, it some of the stuff that you see on your timeline, on your phone. You know what? I'm gonna start off positive for, before I go Tim. I'm gonna play Champ Side. Champ Side, like I said, he's in the field a little bit, but he doesn't. To me, Champ Side, shout out to him. He doesn't move like a leader. He's a follower. Uh, and Champ Side, if you feel some type of way, get at me. You know, um, you know, I, 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 I've been had my opinion about some of the stuff you did. I remember you stole some of my content as well. I spoke about that, but this is Champ Side take on Dev. Things can get a little bumpy when it's right. Y'all are in a good meal, so I'm well rested just like it's morning time. What time is it? Watch this. Damn near midnight for some of y'all, but I'm just getting started. Let me get on y'all last tonight. Awesome. Now, let me see Tank birthday real quick. I'm just curious about something. 1994. Take out the same. Yeah, you see, you see how they moving up the goalposts. Oh, right. Take today, April 8th, the day of the total solar eclipse, nigga. You know where we go from light to dark, back to light. Let me hit you, niggas. Right. What? So let's see what. Yeah, you see, you see how he's moving the goalposts. So basically, because Devin, Devin is not selling, so now they're right, moving the goalposts. Turn 25, for example. It doesn't matter. So tank turn 25, November 7, 2019. If you got it, type got it. What I'm going to do is you're not, pull up tanks. You're not doing device, nothing. You're trying to. Devin's age. <laughs> if you got it, type got it. Don't want no niggas to accuse me of doing no fuckery, no trickery, no. And you're stopping. You are, you are doing fuckery because you're moving the goalposts again, right? This is, this is why this is fuckery. Because you're saying that Devin is this big commodity, man. And now that he's not this commodity, you want to say, oh, the guy that is the commodity, Tank Davis, right? This is, see, I, I got I to educate you guys today, man. These guys are brand killers. Champ Shot is on his brand killer shit right now, right? Guys been pumping the, the narrative that Devin is just as big as Tank or bigger, right? Now that is starting to show that he's not even close to it. They're moving the, the goalposts. They want to talk about the fact that at 25, what was Tank doing? What was Devin doing? No. You guys can't do that, man. You can't do You can do anything you want to do. But you guys were making it seem that Devin was on Tank's level. He was on his level. And now that it's starting to show that that's not even remotely close, you want to move the goalposts. What was he doing at 25? It's like I said, Tank Davis, what did Tank Davis tell him pro? Devin been pro since he was 17. Since he was 17. Did, did Tank Davis go the Mexican route? No, nah, I think he went the independent route. He got signed with Mayweather, what, at 21? Well, he was a world champion at 21. But look, I'm gonna tell y'all this too now. Since, since y'all like doing playing those games, right? Y'all like playing those games and um talking about the age factor. Yo, Devin was the undisputed champion 
look, sis, see, I don't, I don't like doing this, but I gotta do this. This the 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 because the goofiness and the weirdo shit that you guys put out there. So Devin became an undisputed champion, and it did little to nothing to raise his profile. Tank Davis was never undisputed champion. I think Tank Davis might have had only really. Uh, I know they like to say he's a three division champion, but I think it might really only be two, two legit titles. Some of the others were like regulars, and um, you know they were they 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 were they were regular belts. I know the one forty one that he won it was a regular, but he gets credit for being the champion. At 140, when he defeated Mario Barrios, but that was like a regular. And I know a couple of his fight titles at 135, but I think he might have just got elevated now. But the WBA that he just had was a regular. But I think he was a champion. I don't know. I got to look it up. I just, but I know this. I know he's never been undisputed. Um, I know that. He has he hasn't had the the championship status that Devin Haney has had, but yet he's that guy. Now Devin Haney obtained all of these things at a young age. These guys, these internet weirdo guys, they ran. They just greatness and all these things, but it did nothing for his profile. But yet they told us that it did. Right, they they that, that's what we was told on the web, the internet by these guys, right? And then Regis Progress tells us something else. Regis came out and said that he didn't get no back end money. The fight didn't sell; it didn't do good. But like I said, these brand killer guys told us that Devin was a star, a superstar, a star, a draw. But he just sold out the fight card in uh, his hometown. And the champion, who he defeated to become champion, said that they didn't do no numbers. And I want to say shout out to my guy, Evans Fitness by Tubler. Hell of a job on the promotion on that card, building that fight up. Good to see that brother has landed on his feet. He has a fight. Um, Coming up with Joshua Greer, don't blink. Don't blink, right? That is his name. This is part two, man. All right. Now I am going to go over here to this guy. Um, and get some of his uh, his shenanigans on this do ho hickey, All right? This is this is why God's in a predicament that they're in, man. Because you know these guys, man, that that don't do nothing other than try to. Uh, you know, I want to. I want. I want to get. I want to. I, I don't want to do this guy dirty. I want to. I want to put put him out there in a good light. Um, I just want. I just want to show how his 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 what's the name? All right, here's a good one right here. Look, this, 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 is, this is a good one, right? So these, these are, these are the, the, um, the joints that they put out. These are the, these are the joints that they put out. Guys, this is just a different type of cat right here, man. This young man, Devin Haney, 
it's, it's just because from a different cloth. The old school should be admired by all boxing fans because if you don't like us or not, or you don't like the LDBC, you don't like that we rock with them. I had, no, I had nothing to do with that. It is. Uh, a real boxing fan should appreciate and respect guys like Devin Haney because he's, he's the last of the Mohicans. It ain't too many uh, built like this. They want to go out here and fight the best. Uh, to take less okay, he's the last of the Mohegans, right? See, you guys kill his brand, right? Yes, he wants to fight everybody. But when you put out false narratives, right? Now, I don't, you know, remember you guys said that Shakur Stevenson was going to make vocal dollars, right? He did, I don't even need to pull all that up. But see, you guys kill brands, right? How was, listen, pay attention to this, right? Regis Progress and him for for $1.5 million a piece. $3 million. But he was going to give Shakur Stevenson, first you guys said some outlandish $8 million, right? $8 million, um, whatever, the back end and all that. But if Shakur doesn't sell and Devin doesn't sell, how are they going to get back end money? That's number one, right? And you guys are the ones that say Shakur doesn't sell. And now we're seeing that Devin doesn't sell. So neither one of these guys sell. How are they going to make back-end money? That's that, right? But then you said he turned away a flat fee of whatever, $5 million or uh, his highest payday. Well, how was Devin able to give him that but him and Regis just spent $3 million? Man, come on, see? You guys got to stop this shit, man. You guys got to stop this shit. But look, you just, this is the shit that you guys do and you put out, right? You put the, you put these type of stories out and these narratives out about Devin. This is what kills his brand. It's too many uh, people like this. They want to go out here and fight the best, uh, willing to take less money, willing to sign. A different a Bible company, willing to do whatever. All right, he's willing to take less money, but then when it was time for him to get in with Shakur, oh, I, I guess, okay, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. So I guess since he takes less money, Shakur is supposed to take less money. But then the less money that you guys are talking about, brand killers, doesn't add up, man. But I just said, like, if him and Regis for a $3 million split purse, at 50 50, 1.5, 1.5. How was Shakur gonna make five million flat fields? You, you guys were saying oh, first it was eight million and then it was um five. Like, how how does that work? How does that work if him and Regis just split three million dollars down the middle? And then the pay-per-views didn't do nothing. So Shakur and him gonna fight. And look, we, we you you guys, you brand killers say Shakur doesn't sell. And now we're seeing that Devin doesn't sell. So how was these two going to sell together? We got to make it make sense, man. See, see I, I think a lot of times when you guys get on here and you talk, you don't realize the shit that you're saying. Well, maybe you do. Like I said, a lot of you guys, like I said, you, you don't go to fights. Like Just like this guy right here that I'm playing. He's a leader and all this, but where, where do you lead from? What do you lead by? The internet. The internet. What fronts are you really at other than fronting on the internet? A different Bible promotional company willing to do whatever to make the best fights happen. This, this, this guy here is not only fighting for his paper, He's fighting for his legacy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And, and, and uh, that should be commended, especially by the old school boxing fans. It should be commended because a lot of stuff this kid is doing, he don't have to do. He don't have to say, I'm fighting my mandatory. You know what I'm saying? At this level he's at, he don't have to uh, concede and make all these deals to fight Ryan Garcia. He don't have to concede and give concessions to Vasil Lomachenko, even though he's undisputed, right? He didn't have to uh, sign with uh, a top rank and concede to give George Campbell's a rematch clause in Australia and all this type of stuff. He didn't have to concede. And um, this, now, this is the guy that's supposed to be another guy behind the scenes that does things. Um, yes, he did. 
you should notice if you are in the loop. But you, once again, brand killers, internet weirdos, they put shit out. Um, he did have to concede. Because uh, shout out to Barbershop Conversation and Bill and Barbershop and the other guy that you guys love to hate was over there. And they talked about a deal that was put in place. And you should notice because isn't Bill your man? You should know about this deal. There was a deal that was put in place when Silly Lomachenko um, became the franchise champion. And Devin Haney was upgraded to the WBC champion. Y'all remember that deal? But maybe you don't, or maybe you do, and you you know you were unaware, because like I said, you're an internet guy. You guys are internet guys, right? So um, that deal, and I think Bill and them had to rectify that situation, and I think that's why we got the you know the the, the George Cambosis fight, but it was a three fight deal with George Cambosis you know getting a rematch both of the fights taking place in ozzy australia with george cambosis getting majority of the money so but yet these guys push the line that devin no devin signed up for that because that's what he had to sign up for because he had got a deal prior please somebody debunk it like you always do. You guys, you guys be having Bill's line, the bat line, or whatever. Get him on there, man. Because when he was on barbershop conversations, um, show that time with that guy that you guys love to hate. And when that guy said, "Yo, you got to call that guy in NYC," you know, you know, Bill's very boisterous. He he wasn't that boisterous. Yeah, I guess you guys forgot about all of that, you know. You know, you, you got you that, that's what you a lot of you internet weirdos do. Calls in Australia and all this type of stuff. You have to do none of this, but he did it anyway. Why? To prove that he was the better man. That's why he did it. Why he did it? 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 Why he you should have got with the other guy that gave away the 30 racks. Y'all could have took that 30 racks since you guys do all these things in boxing and bought a whole bunch of tickets. Man, 30,000, you could have bought a, probably a whole section at the Barclays Center, right? Now, with that 30,000, you would have bought a whole section. You probably could have, uh, give or take, Gave a lot of those tickets out to other internet weirdos that's in your organization. Maybe they could have, you know, all got together, rented a van or something. You know, maybe some of them could have flew in, but, you know, rent a van, rent a car, pile up, drive in, come to the fights. Because 30000 would have got a lot of seats. A lot of seats. But instead, they took the 30000 and they just gave it to some random. <laughs> Y'all thought I forgot about the thirty thousand? Huh? Nah, I was you gonna we gonna keep talking about that, man? Cause you guys, I'm telling you, you you guys are frauds, man. A lot of the shit you guys do don't add up. You know, I was like, man, when, when, when I see the tickets wasn't selling, I'm like, man. That's why I said, yo, H Dub, man, if you still got that money, man, hit me up, man. We can make some things happen, man. I'll be your silent partner. Hopefully, you didn't blow the whole thirty. You know, get with the consultant, the news, by Shah News. Yo, 30, 30, listen, we don't have to take the whole thing. Look, fuck it. I'll, I'll get a play out for you, HW. I'll give you the play right now, right? Hopefully you didn't blow that whole 30 racks that you got, right? If you pay attention to what's going on, right? Vision board right here. I was going to save this for 1130 when I went to the office, but I'll do it here. Listen, H Dub, man, if you're out there, get with me, man. Hopefully, you still got some of that 30,000 left, right? If you see what's going on in boxing with this 30,000 that you just got, 
that this 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 mysterious guy just loves to donate to YouTubers and YouTube channels. You could take over right now, or you could you could get yourself in the game in a major way, right? Let's break down your thirty thousand. Hopefully, you still got the thirty thousand. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with the H Dub. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with it, right? The Ryan Garcia Devin Haney fight is not selling that good. So what I plan to do is, you know, get with me, man. We could do this, right? You got thirty thousand. Now tickets are going for what? Nine thousand on the floor, right? We don't want those floor seats, right? They can keep those floor seats. Most of these guys that are gonna try to sit on the floor, wannabes, weirdos, frauds, all type of people like that. But what we will do is H Dub, we'll take ten thousand. This is an investment we're gonna do. We're gonna take ten thousand and we are going to buy up ten thousand dollars worth of tickets for the fight. Ten thousand dollars worth of tickets for the fight. Now, this is a small investment. We're gonna use the Devin Haney promo code, right? Ten thousand dollars worth of tickets with the Devin Haney promo code to show that Devin Haney moved ten thousand dollars worth of tickets, right? That's an investment. Now you still got twenty thousand left. With that other twenty thousand, there are some PBC fighters who need guidance. We will get a couple of those guys as well. You will HW, not me. You, you have the thirty thousand. And if the other guys that had this money that was thrown around, maybe they should have did this if they support boxing. The news, by well, Shana, you paying attention? But yeah, we would do that. We we'll do that. HW, you got the thirty thousand, right? Because I know some of these PBC fighters haven't been fighting for years. They might need management. Because that, last time I checked, Al Heyman is not their manager. He's their advisor. But hey, what do I know? Hopefully y'all caught that source. But h Dub, man, if you still got the 30000 holla at me, guy. Holla at me, man. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, good brother. You know, let 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 let's get it together, me and you. You know that yeah, that thirty could go a long way. Like I said, it, it, uh, if you don't want to spend ten on the tickets, we could take five, five thousand in a section or two, go a long way. It's an investment. It's an investment, especially if you support boxing and these are the type of things that you do. Get with me, H Dub, if you're still out there, man. But back to some more of these brand killers. Hopefully, you guys are catching the sauce. Uh, you know, meeting Brian Garcia is upcoming on uh, April 20th in just a few short weeks, about 15 days from now. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to that. You know what I mean? Um, Devin looks to be in tip top shape, he looks to be ready, he, he seems to be mentally focused. Locked in. He hasn't let none of Brian Garcia's distraction tactics work on him. Um, you know what I'm saying? He's focused. He has the right mentality. Like Brian, it's not going to be easy. Brian is a difficult opponent, especially with his style. Stylistic styles may fight in the sport of boxing. Brian's style is just, uh, a difficult. All right. I, I said, I, I can't listen to this guy no more. I can't listen to this guy. Well, it's done, man. If you out there, man. Um. Get with me, man. Get with me, H Dub. I'm telling you, man. He, 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 these guys, they, they expose themselves. H Dub, man. You got the 30 racks still, man. I can make you into a, a player in the game with that 30 racks. Like I said, maybe you don't want to spend 10 on the tickets. So we'll go five. We'll go, we'll go five. You know, you know, you get you get you get a nice um section of seats right for five thousand like i said we're not we don't we don't want none of the, the ringside shits and none of that but we will spend five racks on some seats you know with the promo code the devin haney promo code to show that devin haney is moving those tickets that is almost like a um for those of y'all that follow politics 
this is almost like a, a, a you know when you donate to a politician that's what we'll be doing right to show that Devin Hain, that this is what these guys should have did right or maybe you guys are doing this but now you're probably doing it since i put it out there but you guys were never doing this because you guys are scammers and, and bullshitters and frauds but ace dub man get with me man showtime shot news media marketing agent shot news boxing consultant services i got you bro i got i got you. you got 30 racks you can get on i know a couple of fighters that i can link you in with right now right 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 now and i'll tell you what you know you know what my fee usually is right being that it's you and you got thirty thousand, i know you're just getting started i'll do three percent for you i'll do three percent for you right three percent right now look how i just put you onto a ticket play right and like i said i got some fighters for you bro now when i see these guys giving away thirty thousand dollars and they supposed to be supporting boxing they're all in the box and i'm like damn you're an executive you're this you're that why didn't you invest that into Devin? yeah and, and, and you know why i said that too because this is the same guy that had the audacity to try to call me out I'm buying pay-per-views 14 and 14 or something like that 13 and 13. why would i buy 13 pay-per-views I'd rather send 13 fighters to the nationals. I'd rather, I'd rather invest in the future. Well, invest in the pay-per-views. Why didn't you take that 30 racks and buy some tickets? Why, why, why didn't you take that 30 racks and buy, like I said, buy, you could have bought a whole section. You could have had the whole your whole internet weirdo organization and at the fight. You know, you could have gave you could have bought those 30 thirty thousand dollars worth of tickets. Promo code Devin Haney. Right then, then, then that narrative is dead. They were like, "Yo, what? Devin Haney sold thirty thousand tickets. Somebody bought thirty thousand dollars worth of tickets. Team Haney, Code Haney, right? Promo Code Haney. And you could have gave him out to all of your your weirdo organization and said, "Yo, listen, man, I got tickets. You know, you get up here how you need to get up here. Rent a van, get a van, fly in. Your tickets is here." Yeah, but nah, you didn't do that. You you, you gave it to HW, um, whatever else, you know. But but you had the audacity to come on here and call me and my guy out talking about buy pay-per-views. Dude, you're a bozo, man. I and listen, I'll tell you to your face this. You're a bozo. You're, you're a straight bozo, man. You know, a lot a lot of you internet weirdos are bozos. You don't you you guys come on here. And, and you know you could you could pull that off on the internet with people that don't know shit, but people that actually know things and do things, you look real bozoed out. But H Dub man, if you still got that thirty thousand man, hopefully you didn't spend it all, take your wife on a vacation, and do the shit that you said you was gonna do. Holla at me, man. I'll get you in the game quick, fast, brother. Quick, fast, man the news by shinos hopefully y'all are catching the sauce man don't be alarmed or upset with me from how i'm kicking it to y'all man because it's just too much uh buffoonery on this internet weirdo shit you know weirdo shit you get you got guys that come on here and they 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 talk about people that do media work yet they have done nothing media wise they talk about people that have done executive shit like I said, these niggas haven't done nothing media-wise, but we'll talk about people that have done executive things. They will talk about people that have done production stuff. These guys have done nothing media-wise. The only thing these guys have done is, right? This, this is what these bozos would have done, right? These these scam artists, right? They would have took that 30000 and one and bought subs. Oh, yeah, that shows, too, with a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys got all these big-ass subs and go live, and only you have a 1,000 people in your live. How does that work, man? How, yo, how does that work? And it's crazy, right? You know? Studies show this, right? All of you successful YouTubers with your big shows all have the same thing going on. Just a couple of hundred people in your lives couple of hundred people in your lives 
how does that work out, man? How does that play? I don't. I, I never. That that to me was always mind boggling. I'm like, yeah, these all these guys got the same couple of hundred, couple of hundred. But shout out to the other ones that that you know they put more money into um, their scam, like the show business and those guys. Like at least at least you show. I I, I respect your your um, you know your sorcery. Cause show showbiz man, see showbiz makes y'all look bad. That's why y'all love showbiz antics with the faces and all that. Cause at least showbiz will do a fight party, right? Showbiz will have thousands upon thousands in his shit, right? You niggas will have a couple of hundred. You got yeah, you got to put more money into the pot, man. You got to put more money into the pot. So maybe you should have took that thirty racks. And put that shit into the system. So when you go live, you get more bots. I'm just saying, man. But H Dub, hit me up, man. Um, my emails is out there. Um, all my handles is out there. If you still got the 30,000, get with me, brother. I I, I could get listen, like I said, only th- at three percent. Only only three percent I'm charging you. You know, three three percent fee. Not too much, right? Three percent, because I know you're just getting started, so I won't hit you with the five or the seven. I'll do three, and I'll be a silent partner. You know, I know how to be a silent partner, but I just gave you the, the play right there. I gave you the play. You know, you can, you can purchase about five thousand. Look, I said ten. And I know you're probably like, yeah, I want to spend some of the money. I got thirty thousand, so so you can do five. You can do five on tickets, promo code Haney, right? And like I said, you don't have to get the $9,000. That's stupid. Why would you get those? You get a nice section of seats, 5000 That shows that Devin Haney sold 5000 seats, $5,000 in seats. One time hit, boom, boom. That's why I said 10 to be even better, but, you know, it is where it is, right? Then what you got, 25 left, right? Invest that 25. Like I said, I know a couple fighters, brother. I know a couple fighters, man. You could you could be, you, you know, they, they're looking for management, man. They're looking for management, right? You give those guys 5000 right? Throw those guys 5000 right? I'll draw something up for you, a nice contract up for you. Throw a couple fighters 5000 right? Three fighters, right? Three fighters 5000 apiece, right? So, w- 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 look, what we just spent right there? 20000 You got $10,000 left. You got ten thousand dollars left out of that thirty. Now look what you just did. You done did right. Pay attention, man. Free game right here. With twenty thousand dollars, what did I just do for HW? I just made HW a player in this game for real. HW is known as a ticket guy now, right? Because he spent five thousand promo code Devin Haney. He purchased five thousand dollars worth of tickets at the Barclays Center. He also, I'm, I'm just, I'm just put some names out there, right? I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my fighters. He also, right, invested in three up and coming fighters, right, behind the scenes, with five thousand apiece, right, to help them out with whatever they got going on, whether training, uh, equipment, meals preparation things like that so now he's involved with three fighters he's known as a ticket guy man he's on right this is hw man and he did this all with twenty thousand dollars the news by sean for the one person that's in here man let me know if you caught that that play that i just gave you bro let me know if you caught that play man let me know if you caught that play man this is this is I got to throw my frames on. Do I, do I need to get my frames? See, game is to be sold and not told. But I done sold mine so I could talk about it a little bit. Did, did y'all catch that right there? H Dub, man. Holla at me, man. You got 30 racks, man. I just invested 20000 for you. And you on right there, brother. So when I see these guys on here talking all this big money, big willy shit, and they ain't moving no needles. You guys are crumbs, man. Stop the bullshit, man. 
Stop the bullshit, man. Stop the bullshit, man. You know? Stop the bullshit. Because that's what it is. It's a bunch of bullshit, man. You guys aren't doing the things that you say you're doing. You know? And it shows. Because why would you give out 30000 when that 30000 could have went to something big? The news by Shadows. Hopefully, you guys are catching this. So, let's get to Richard Hitchison, man. That's enough of that. Uh, you know, management consultant service talk, right? So, Richard Hitchison says, World title bound. I believe so. Um, now I heard that Richard Hitchison was, uh, he doesn't like the IBF rehydration rules and all of that. shit. Um, excuses to me. Um, you know what it is? I, I just think that was a tough fight for him, right? Um, but a lot of people say he lost. Um, I don't think he wants to fight Sabrell Matisse, right? Because he just, like, I think that fight right there uh a lot of people seen that fight and you know shows some flaws in his game it shows some but if you follow him and you know him you know that style right there that that come forward in your face style he can't handle antoine russell showed us that from back in the day in the amateurs if you know you know now i'm not going to go too much into it like i said game is to be sold and not told that is megan the stallion she probably got about thirty thousand in her hair right there <laughs> thirty thousand shout out to her oh what is this? this yeah this right here right look look right y'all always say i talk bad about this guy so let me talk good about him right here right this would be a good fight you know why they have history in the amateurs, right? Brian Castano has been on record as saying he dropped Earl Spence in the amateurs. This would be a good fight for Earl if Earl could still fight. If Earl is Earl, if Earl gets with, uh, who, who's his coach? Has anybody found out that you know you you pro Spence guys, you Texas boys? Is, what, what's going on with OEJ? But this this would be a good fight right here. They have a history. Um, I don't think this is a, a, a tune-up fight, right? Because EJ said no tune-ups. A former world champion is not a tune-up. A former world champion who fought for Undisputed. Both of you guys fought for Undisputed, came up short. Both of you guys got stopped, right? It's a great fight, man. Great fight. Look, and y'all always say I don't talk good about this guy. That's I'm talking good about him right now. I would support this fight. I would even go as far as to if this fight was signed. I would do the pro bono work for you again, Earl. Because you remember I did a lot of pro bono work for you back in the day. Even though you, you, you tried to shit on my name there, brother. You tried to shit on my name, but it is where it is. Look how that turned out, man. And I told you guys this a long time ago. I said, when you guys would be creeping the fuck on out, I will be creeping on up. What's going on? But if, if, the, if you was to sign this fight, I would do some pro bono work for you. But can you still fight is the question. Hopefully some of these good Texas boys and these, these you know, the Fanons and the, the R. Kellys and the, uh, all the Texas podcasters, the guys that are down there, get, man, get some, get some information going, man. You niggas, you niggas be in Texas and don't know a goddamn thing. Maybe the girls could pull Frank up. Well, well, well Frank, remember, Frank said this nigga was in the gym with him. Come to find out, Dirk done kicked him out the gym. So what gym was he in with you, Frank? I said, man, see, you got to pay attention. Oh, there he is. There's Mr. 30. Mr. 30 by 30, man. I'm surprised he didn't invest that into the fight, man. Yo, remember, yo? I got to call this guy out. Remember? that? That's the guy that wanted me and my man to buy 13 pay-per-views. 13 pay-per-views. I don't invest in pay-per-views. I invest in fighters. Investing 13 in pay-per-views is investing in the um it's, it's investing into the fighter like this. 
Look, when you see you see that a smidget. Buying 13 pay-per-views is investing into who? The network, the uh, cable company. I'd rather take that 1300 Say they was, you know, pay-per-views was $100. I'd rather take that 1300 and invest it into the fighter. Dummy. Dummy. Holla at me, y'all. Holla at me, man. But it, it, these are the guys you listen to about being in the game. Right? H-Dub, man, if you out there, you got that 30000 Holla at me. Great office, too, man. Great office. You know? It's an upgrade from the car. You know? Hopefully, I caught that sauce. The News by Shaw News. Shout out to my guy right here. One more round. You know, that's my man right there, Stitch Duran. One more round. Smash the like button. You know, smash the like button. That's my guy right there. One more round. Stitch Duran. Hey, you guys. A shout out to Sauce Talk Podcast. You guys enjoy it. It's a good one. Yes, 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 yes. You know what I'll do, right? If anybody wants to talk to me, the lines are open, right? You will open up the floors. Who wants to come on? Does anybody want to come on? Don't get scared. Feel free to tap in and come on. We are here this morning. We're doing the do. If you want to come on, you know. I dropped some gems earlier, right? Come on in if you want to, you know. Don't be one of these guys that get an investment and don't invest it properly. Man, man look, look, this is the ring, right? Look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, you like you guys love this guy, right? Hold on, look, look. We keep receipts over here, right? That's the ring. Look at that ring, right? Look at that ring. Remember, I told y'all this this morning, my live this morning. Look at that ring. What ring is that, right? Have any of y'all been there? Look at that ring, right? That's the ring. That is the infamous ring I was talking about, right? I talked about that ring this morning. I said, yeah, the ring. That is the ring, the ring of fire. Look. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It is. It is the ring. I, I just wanted to make sure, you know, I, I, I know I'm not an internet boxing weirdo. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure, you know, I said something earlier. I stated something earlier. I just wanted to make sure if that was the right ring. Watch that again. <laughs> Oh. Get out of here! Get out of here! 
Now you hear somebody say, get out of there, get out of there, Dad. Get out of there, get out of there. Yeah, I want to say, man, whoever edited that damn video, you ought to be ashamed of yourself just to put out that clip of of Tank just jumping on Devin like that, man. You ought to, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, right? Because you didn't show none of Devin's highlights in that video at all. Shout out to Knockout by Knock Nika's her birthday. See everybody showing her love, but man, um. Why didn't y'all put out none of his highlights? Yes. 12 days away. The dream. The dream. This is the top ranks. The top rank facility, right? We just heard that gentleman talk mad shit about top rank, right? But it seems like Devin is still working with top rank. Let me say that once again, right? You heard the, the internet weirdo, right? The internet weirdo guy talk about top rank. But isn't Devin training out of the top rank facility? So yeah, I tell you, you can't listen to these brand killer guys, man. Yeah, these brand killer guys, man. That's why I guess they don't go to events because they be on the internet just talking crazy. But he's in the top rank facility. I think he had a lot of his camp at the top rank facility in Vegas. But this 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 old unhealthy talking guy unhealthy yes he talks unhealthy about different topics and um he was look that's top rank yeah i've been there you know that's the top rank gym facility so i, I don't know you, you, you know you do have options you do have options oh this is what i was talking about yesterday uh he was saying richard hitterson doesn't get no money this was that, that that was real spicy, man. Check that out for y'all yourselves, man. You know, check that out. DHP in the building. Is this A B? Yes, A B and Blair the Flair. Man, that's crazy, man. 53124, man. Adrian the problem, Broner. They did do they do a little something. I, I just, it's just like they're not where they used to be. Well, AB's not where he used to be. Blair the Flair is Blair the Flair. But AAB, man, this is CAB here, right? Damn. Well, listen, I want to say this, right? Shout out to Don King, man. Don King is still a hitter in the game, man. Only in America. Only in America, man. You know? Only in America. Now watch this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. This is this right here is going to expose a lot of fans, right? Um, this fight is not going to be on no major. Like it's not going to be on show. Well, Showtime's not in the game, but it's not going to be on Amazon Prime. Um, it's not going to be on ESPN. It's going to be on some sort of a, a streaming site where you have to pay. My question is, how many of you guys going to pay for this fight? <laughs> don't get quiet now how many of you guys are gonna pay for this fight you guys a lot of you guys that talk boxing don't even pay for the fights on the bigger networks bigger cards how many are gonna pay for this fight because you're gonna have to pay for it <sighs> how many y'all gonna pay for this fight i don't think none of you guys are you know it'll show it will show you weirdos Oh, I didn't even give that a like. Let me give that a like, man. Oh, man. Did y'all see that? Look. You see what it says? Javante Tank Davis getting dropped. These niggas that do anything. These niggas that, these niggas, yeah, these niggas that do anything. Is that Tank Davis? Absolutely not. <laughs> but look, this, this is Twitter, bro. This shit got almost 300K views. Gimmick out. This is not Tank Davis. But look, look, look. Javante Tank Davis getting dropped. Sad, man. This is Twitter for you. Look. 
Hey, we go right here. Yo, Tia Fimo now makes it make sense while fighting. This is the guy that Tia is supposed to be fighting. That's how he got dropped. Look, 116. Twitter for y'all, man. Twitter. 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 Boxing Twitter. This is Boxing Twitter. It's good to see Jamie. Oh man, Jim Lampley, right? I'm gonna play this right. Jim Jim Lampley, you know, a HBO went out of business, and um, Jim Lampley never got back on the scene, right? Showtime didn't pick him up. I think he was just he he was doing some sort of um work at the 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 fight card that just, just took place in Vegas. But listen to Jim Lampley. Listen to Jim. This is old good Jimmy. Jim Lampley. Because of his craft was more or less most people who follow boxing don't really think that Canelo is risking anything against Jaime Munguia because they don't believe that Munguia is skilled enough to find him often enough to, to get that done. They do believe that Benavides might be skilled enough to find him. And if Benavides were to go into the ring with Canelo and find him, that chin might not matter because Benavides has epic power. He he has the kind of punching power that, you know, you go to sleep at night thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm not sure where I've seen that before. He detonated Demetrius Andrade, blew him up. And I thought Andrade, because of his craft, was more or less knockout proof. Uh All right, let me stop it real quick, right? Jim Lampley is a seasoned Hall of Famer pro, right? He just said David Benavides has detonating knockout power. For the one person that is in here, well, it's two people in here. Jim Lampley, like I said, is a seasoned Hall of Famer. He just sold you a crock of shit. And I'm going to show you why he shows you a crock of shit. All right? Devastating power is what? What? We see Tank Davis do what we see Deontay Wilder do. Uh, King Arthur, guys like this, right? You know, devastating power. That's that one punch power. He just said David Benavitez possesses that. Pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. I'm saying this very slow so you guys can catch the sauce. How many people have we seen David Benavitez put down one punch? Devastating power. We see David Benavitez overwhelm guys with volumes of punches and pressure. Devastating power. How many people have we seen David Benavitez put down with one punch? Devastating power. That's what Jim Lampley just told us about David Benavitez. He does not have that. But let's see how many people watch this and soak this in already. 2K. Listen to him again. I'm going to bring it back. He sold you a crock of shit. This has epic power. He, he has the kind of punching power that, you know, you go to sleep at night thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm not sure where I've seen that before. He, you know, he said he had epic power. I just named two guys with epic power. Wilder, Tank Davis. One punch, epic knockout power. David Benavitez possesses that? That's why you got to pay attention. The news by Shaw News, man. These guys are program you to believe anything. Now, the reason why I did that was because I have to. This is the show. Because I did shit on the other guy, right? On Exposed How. He puts bullshit out. So I had to show old media putting out bullshit as well. That's 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 a crock of bullshit. Jim Lampley just told us about David Benavitez. He does not have epic, um, undeniable, unbelievable power. That was bullshit. Hopefully y'all caught that source. The news by Shaw News. Once again. The kind of punching power that, you know, you go to sleep at night thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm not sure where I've seen that before. He detonated Demetrius Andre, blew him up. And I thought Andre, because of his craft, was more or less knockout proof. 
so I walked out of the arena that night thinking, when have I seen the kind of explosive power that David Benavides just showed me? Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson. That's Those are the kinds of fighters who demonstrated that kind of power. And oh, by the way, I think there's a strong... Now, I'm going to stop it again. Jim is a little older. He's a little older, so you have to respect your elders. But he bumped his head once again. He compared him to Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson, two heavyweight guys that epic power, one punch power, knock guys the fuck out. Once again, when have we seen David Benavides do that? But according to old Uncle Jim, good old Jim, <laughs> David has it. <laughs> I didn't see it. I haven't seen it, but, you know, Jim's seen it, but that's Jim. Strong chance that David Benavides will eventually in his career be fighting as a heavyweight and will become the first, forgive me, Andy Ruiz, the first serious and great heavyweight championship contender uh, among Mexican-Americans. The first Mexican-American serious first-rate heavyweight championship contender will be the biggest economic entity in boxing. And that possibility presents itself for Benavides if he steers his career the right way. Mm, man, that was, yo, that was a bold, bold statement, right? Now, I wanted to speak on that because David Benavides is a super middleweight that we will be seeing fight at light heavyweight for the first time whenever the date is announced. I don't know. Is, is it this week? PBC guys, somebody from the PBC. You know, PBC uh, enthusiasts, is that announcement coming this week? Whenever that announcement comes. But he will be stepping into light heavy. You have light heavy, cruiserweight, heavyweight. Jim Lampley just jumped out there, said this guy's going to just conquer the heavyweight division. Kind of reminds me of guys that they say fighters are going to do shit that they never even seen them compete. So you're saying this guy is going to take over the heavyweight division. You have yet to see him take over the light heavyweight division. Well, if he does, he does, you know. Drago, if he dies, he dies. The news by Sean News, man. You know, we out here today, man. Feel free to hit the link, man. The link is there. You do not have to be intimidated to come over here and talk boxing. You talk boxing with all these other weirdos, right? Come talk it with me. <laughs> you know, the link is right there. For those of y'all that say I don't post the link, the link was right there, right? But let's move on. I will be back on at 1130 at 7-Eleven. I'm doing a 7-Eleven uh, special. Oh, this right here was sad, right? This, this cop, right? I think this is Texas. Texas is like different, man. It's just a whole bunch of goofy shit down there, right? This this guy and the cop, they were going at it. At least the cop didn't shoot him or nothing, man. But his mother sitting there recording. Like, come on, man. He they said he had a warrant. Y'all wanna watch? Nah. But I, I know y'all will report my channel, so I'm not gonna play the audio. But look at this, man. This was at the tech or oh, Alabama. It's Alabama. My bad. I said Texas. Forgive me, y'all. I, I, when I was in Texas, I seen some shit like this jump off in Texas. But this was Alabama, man. This is this is yo, yo NYPD. This would have never went down like that. Look, look. You see how he did his the guy's mother for recording. This this disrespected her. And and this dude just let his mother get disrespected. Now he's on the car. You was fighting this dude, right? This dude shoved your mom's, right? This shoved your mom's, plain sight. You just want to put your back against the, the car. That's when you should have turned up. This guy just shoved your mom's, brother. That's when you should have, that's when you should have turned up, man. These, these, these officers are, are out of control, though, man. Out of control. Oh, yes, this was Carmelo Anthony. I remember this, man. Carmelo Anthony, boy. Oh, man. These, yo, listen, these, these, were, these were my Nick days right here when I was selling Nick tickets, man. This was Carmelo, man. Hello. Mello, hello. Carmelo, man. The Mellow man. He was special in, in New York, man, for those of y'all that. You know, see, a lot of you guys don't really, you know, you don't get outside, man. Y'all, y'all not active, man. Y'all, and then you hate on the brothers that are active, man. Y'all hate on the brothers that are active, man. And 
you know, the sad thing is when, when you hate on people that are doing things, like one thing about me, as I've grown and, and level changed, I never hated on the people that i seen doing it. I always wanted to link with them and learn from them and, 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 and get on. You, you guys, especially with this internet, social media exposes you guys. Not only do you guys hate, right? You don't embrace it. You don't appreciate it. You try to undermine. You, that's why I call you niggas weirdos, bro. Y'all niggas is weirdos, bro. And we don't moving forward 2024. We don't we don't do the weirdo energy, bro. No weirdo energy, man. Hey, okay, video. Let's go. We up, man. I told y'all, man. We been up, though, man. We been up, man. And you guys was trying to bring us down. Trying to bring us down, man. I was playing, man. I told y'all I was coming back to the city of Cowboy. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Seek and destroy. You know the vibe. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! I told y'all, man. I was coming back to the city of Cowboy, man. A cowboy, man. You know, but I always been a cowboy, man. Cause see, a cowboy could ride horses like this. This is the law. First I know. But hey, what do I know? Yeehaw! Giddy up! Giddy up, man. The news. Basha news, man. Salute to everybody that's been wanting me to come back on. I'm back, y'all. I'm back, man. You know, I just chilled for a minute, but I'm back. Um, Chris Algieri, man. Yo, Chris Algieri. This is Chris right here, right? Chris Algieri fought at the Barclay Center. Um, that uh, Look, I, I spoke about this earlier, but now I'm going to speak about it more in depth, right? When Chris Algieri fought at the Barclays said he fought Earl Spence. And when I was telling HW to get with me, right, I remember that night at the Barclays Center. Uh, you know, we sold a lot of tickets for Earl Spence. Earl Spence and Chris Algieri, they, they packed the place out, but we sold a lot of tickets. We moved a lot of tickets that night. I was responsible for a lot of that. You know, whether they give me my credit or not, well, they don't have to because the game is giving me my credit now. Look at look what I have went on to do and become and continue to do. But I remember that night um, moving a lot of tickets. That's why HW, man, get with me. I, I have the formula. I, I, I Listen, I have the source print, not the blueprint, the source print. I have the stats, the resume to show these things. But I remember that night. It was an epic night. At the Barclays Center when Earl Spence, the great Earl, the great white hype in Earl, right? Because Chris Alger was the great white hype, former champion, fought um, he fought uh Manny Pacquiao. I remember a lot of the old timers that retired from my job. Yeah, they 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 were sold on Chris Algeria, and I was telling them, you know, that's what I was team spent, so it don't make sense. Yes, I started that. And I was like, yo, nah, EJ is going to steamroll this guy because I knew both of these gimmicks. You see what I say? Gimmicks, man, respectfully. But I just knew EJ was the bigger gimmick. And I was like, yo, he's going to steamroll Chris. We sold, like I said, HW, we sold more than $5,000 worth of tickets. Sold a lot of tickets. But like I'm telling you, HW, man, get with me, man. If you got the bread, you can get in the game, man. See, I got in the game back then. Unbeknownst to these guys, right? They, they, you know, these, these, these. Listen, a lot of people remember me. They know me, man, because I've, I've been doing this in real life. But these same people that, you know, tried to front on me and lie on me, the actual real players in the game was like, nah, uh -uh. Not, that's when I was jack of fitness. They was like, nah, that, that's the guy right there. That, that guy knows how to get it cracking. <laughs> he ain't no, I don't know. Maybe you guys don't like him no more. Because you you guys are trying to hold him back and do other things, but now nah, that guy he knows people, he gets it done. <laughs> That's why you know when, when these guys was running around telling people I was this, I was in solid, I, they was like, wait, nah, not that guy. 
Uh, nah, uh, no. You, are you sure that guy? I, I seen that guy bring hundreds and thousands of people to the to the to the arenas, man. Not that guy. Are you sure? Are you are you, are you sure it's that guy? All right. Let me see what happens though. But yeah, that was an epic night at the the Barclays Center. Um, great night at the Barclays Center. Shout out to Chris Algieri. Chris Algieri, you know, doing big things. Big, big thing. Yeah, this guy, let, let's talk about this, right? This guy apologized, right? Did he apologize? That shit is crazy. Rap. So this shit is WWE. Listen, if J. Cole can apologize, some of you goofy as YouTube content creators need to apologize. I'll take an apology too, man. Or, or I'm going to continue to keep stepping on y'all, man. If y'all don't apologize to me, I'm going to keep stepping on you weirdos, man. Or an apologize. Remember, yeah, I remember I was saying that months ago. That's all I wanted. It was an apology. But now I don't even want an apology no more, man. I'm not a bully. You guys tried to bully me. I just want my lick back. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm tit for tat, man. I'm, I'm not Mal. I'm not more, and I'm Malcolm. You know, more Malcolm is. You know, you know, you you hit Malcolm. Malcolm banging back. Martin Luther, he was turning the cheek. I'm not turning the cheek, man. You see, I, I did take the high road, right? I took the high road. I, 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 you know, I was honorable, but I want my lick back, man. I want my lick back. And then, if, if you see how I've been moving, I'm, I'm, I'm geared up right now, man. We, we're ready. Saw securities. We're marching, man. I want my lick back, man. For all you guys that was talking that I know is not like that, man. Oh, man. This, yo, this was an epic knockout right here. Did you see that shit? Now, now, look, look, look. Going back to what uh, Jim Lampley was saying. That is epic power right there. Look at that, man. That's epic power. See, one punch spun him around. Look, look. That's epic power. Epic power, right? We're talking about epic power. Look. Epic power. Now that's what you would call epic power, right? Did y'all catch that vibe? Did y'all catch that vibe? That is epic power. I don't know what Jim Lampley was talking about. Have you ever seen David Benavitez do anything like that remotely close to that? No. Yeah, he is not having it. Look, he is not having it with that snake. Look. Oh, uh, took him down. Look, he took that snake down. <laughs> yeah, he was not having it. Look, that's how you got to do a snake. Did you see that? Look, we play that back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, was that sauce in there with them snakes? Yo, that's how you do a snake, though. Look, look, look. He was not having it with that snake. Y'all see that? That's how you do a snake, though, man. Look, pay attention, man. Took him down. <laughs> ah, look. That's how you do a snake, man. Yo. Yeah, that's how you do a snake, man. Don't be mad at me for doing these snakes like that, man. That's how I did a lot of these internet snakes, man. I mean, they, they was playing around, man. I took them down, man. You take a snake down, man. You heard? Take a snake down, man. Now they're mad at me. They're, a lot of these snakes that I took down, they're playing the victim now. But they tried to snake me. Right, I am the keepers of me. They tried to snake me, man. They tried to snake, man. Yeah, the, the PBC guys are looking crazy. These niggas is looking crazy, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah. When I see this, right, respectfully, right. Look, let's play this real quick. I'm then I'm gonna break. What can you say then about the 154 pound division? Because now with you stepping in there, 
We know that Errol Spence Jr. is here. Definitely. He's coming in there. Terrence Crawford all of a sudden wants, is coming in 154. Right. Tim Zhu is right. there. Charlo obviously in the recess, but you got Charlo in there. This division is all of a sudden loaded. Definitely. Well, I've never been a stranger to danger, so you can check my resume. Every division I've been in is like, it's always been stacked, 140, 147. So it's, I've never been a stranger to danger. I've always been the best, like as an amateur, I've always been one of the best professionals, pound for pound. So I'm not afraid of none. You know, I would love to fight whoever. Yo, check the vibes real quick. Check the vibes, right? This guy has never been a stranger. He's never been a stranger to danger, right? But um, ever since he left 140, what has he done? Relatively nothing. He doesn't win the big matchups. At 140, he was a killer. But when I watch that, I just see the PBC. They don't have it anymore, man. I said, uh, no disrespect to Brian Custer. I, I just see the only thing that has changed, right, is the name. It's no longer Showtime, Fox. Uh, what was another the Showtime Fox Spike TV? Or it, it's just you know, it's prime now, but I just look, I'm like, it's, it's prime, but they they they're just they're, they're weak right now, man. They're weak, right? You you got Danny Garcia about this 10 years ago, that would have been a good look, right? It's 2024. Why is he on the podium even talking? You know, why why is he even talking, right? This is why the PBC is, is failing because they've been gimmicked out for so long. And they and I, I I've been shout out to WCS for giving me my flowers on this. I've been on the fence about this for many years with them. They do not know how to change the guard, even though that was it was present. Because they got so caught up with the shenanigans and the gimmicks and the scams and the frauds, right? These guys were never it. And they stayed investing in these gimmicks, these frauds, these drunks, these fiends, these drug addicts. And they, you know, this is what happened, right? I'm going to tell you what happened right now. We're going to be kicking it today, right? This is pretty much what happened, right? These guys invested in all of these guys that were on drugs. They were alcoholics. They had all of this shit going on outside the ring. The PBC knew these things, but what they did was they got guys that sit on this internet all day long that are willing to sell a self short, sell out, and they do these guys a couple favors, maybe giving them credentials, flying them in the fight, shit like that. And these guys, instead of being stand up solid official they ran the plays for these people right meanwhile all of these guys that they were telling you were the goods they were this these guys were drug addicts they were alcoholics they wasn't in the gyms like that then these guys started getting older pay attention now the pbc has now these older guys that have been doing this for years and years underneath the cover up cover of fraud ass media fraud ass journalists youtube content creators now these guys are much older what had what happened right these guys got older the pbc never got with none of the younger guys and i was telling these guys yo you need to get with some of these hitters coming up they didn't you know who got with the hitters coming up top rank you know who else got with those hitters coming up? Matchroom. Matchroom. Remember, Matchroom was forking out the money. They signed Raymond Savage Ford, who was a champion now. They were signing all of these guys. Top rank, same way. They were signing all of these young guys. They was getting them all. You see that now. Who has all of the talent? You, you, so when you hear me say PBC is weak right now, they're weak. They're still promoting. Look, Danny Garcia is old. Hasn't done nothing since 140. Why is he on the podium? Where's Gary Antoine Russell? Where's Boots Ennis? These are the guys that you should have had on the podium, but you didn't even promote them properly. And now these other guys took over. Because they have all the young talent. 
They have all the young, good talent, and they will mop the floor with you guys. Terrence Crawford beat your best fighter down. You're, you're the, the last of the Mohegans, like that guy said over there, is Tank Davis. You have to protect him. You know, but I don't think Tank really needs the protection. But you you can't if Tank fucks around and gets beat up from a, a outside commodity, you know what I mean by outside commodity, not an in-house guy, it's going to fuck everything up. But I don't think Tank Tank is that guy. The only guy I think will maybe make Tank look a little crazy is a Shakur Stevenson because he's so defensively sound. But the other guys, I think Tank, you know, Tank can get to him, man. Tank, tank and get to him. Oh, tanky. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? We're rocking out today, man. I know this is why I'm giving you guys this because I haven't been around for a while, but you know, I'm around today. Uh, I'll be around later. Like I said, 11 30, we have the 7 Eleven special going down. I will do a 7 Eleven live for you where I'll be giving away 30,000 worth of 7 Eleven products, Slurpees, uh, beef jerkies donuts teas coffees yes at 11 30 come around the 30 7 11 giveaway 30 000. that's what we're doing at 7 11 at 11 30 be back around for that i will be uh, i'm not going to disclose the location you know because i don't want the sure the store getting shut down but we will be giving away thirty thousand dollars in Coffees, Slurpees, uh, Big Bites, Beef Jerkies, Doritos, Nachos, all of that good stuff. 30,000 7 Eleven giveaway. Get with me. You know, we'll be going live 11 30. <laughs> the news by Sha News. This is the source experience. But hey, what do I know? Big yo, big Anthony Joshua. This is when he became a champion when they sold out Charles Martin. Big Charles Martin was a champion, man. He was a, yeah, he was yeah, he yeah, man, he was a, he was a PBC champion, man. Y'all remember that big Charles, big Chuck? IOTBA versus knockout versus Nika. Oh man. There goes Deborah Crawford. Look. Yo, Devil Crawford been dancing for years, man. Now, yo, remember that the other guy, right? Yeah, he, yeah, he said she wasn't gonna be dancing July 29th. Yeah, she was in there two stepping, right? Shout out to Miss Deb, man. I, I remember meeting Miss Deb in NYC many years ago, man, when I had my babies, man. Right? I, and shout out to Letitia and the Crawfords, right? And, and um and 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 and, and Terrence's baby moms, his wife, his partner. Y'all remember they, yo, they looked out for me, man, right? Yeah, that that, that might have been the first time, right? That might have been the first time, right, that I walked around the metal detectors. I went to the event when I was like, like Fat Joe said, lean back, lean back. Y'all walked around the metal detectors, man. I wanted, I, I, I went in there with Isha. That's Terrence's uh his significant other. His, his I went in there with Isha. Deborah Crawford, Letitia Crawford. I went in there with the Crawfords, right? Because I was covering the fights at the at the what's now I had my babies. It was me, Coach Reen, and CEO on the side. They was, yeah, listen, that's why I don't respect a lot of you internet weirdos when it comes to this boxing, because y'all not in the field. I was out there with my babies with diapers and formula. And top rank was giving me a hard time, right? And unbeknownst to me, the Crawford family seen me. And yo, they came to my aid, right? They they came over and they they was chopping it up with me, right? And the moment they chopped it up with me, right? The the top ranked people seen this and they fell back because they was like, oh shit. We didn't know. They, yeah, they was like, oh, we didn't know. So they probably thought I was a Crawford, right? Then they they just they embraced me with open arms. So then we go over to the weigh-in. You know, shout out to Isha. She got her babies. I got my babies, right? I was about to get online, right? Because the, the Wayans, listen, that's why I say I don't respect a lot of you guys, right? Because you guys want to do media stuff. You want to be in the field, but you're not in the field. The Wayans, pr prior to all this COVID shit, but they still like that now. It's open to the public. It's open to the public. They give you complimentary tickets. 
So I already had my complimentary ticket. I got online. I was going to get online. The Crawfords, they grabbed me out. I went in with them, but I still had my tickets. My guys, this is my Jack of Fitness day. I told my guys, I said, y'all, we all going to link up. I'm going to come to the section. But I went in with the Crawfords. I went around me, Coach Reen, CEO of the side. We went around the metal detectors. <laughs> yeah, we was VIP. I was in the building with the Crawfords, right? We go into the weigh-ins, right? Shout out to my man, June, Champ 5. That's when I was in the section. But, I, I, you know me, I'm everyday people. I went up there and I kicked it with my people. But I was with the Crawfords, man. And I always remember that, right? And that's why when that whole shit jumped off, remember? And I spoke about this. When that whole shit jumped off and all of these weirdo content creators they was pushing all these lies on Terrence Crawford name and all that. And I said, I can't know. I was like, I, yeah, I was still fucking with team Spencer and that, but I was like, yo, bro, nah, I don't, I don't move like that. <laughs> I was like, I don't move like that. I was like, I don't know them like that, bro. I was like, I, I, I listen, I said, I, I've been around them people. I got jammed up. Them people came to my aid. I, I'm, I, I'm not going to jump on the internet and lie and talk down on people that I know don't move like that. That's not me. I don't do that. I, I, I roll different. I, I never seen that side of them people. I, I seen them people embrace me, not even knowing me, watching me interview Bo Mack and, 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 and Steven Nelson at the hotel, and then them people taking me into the way and with them. I, I'm not going to sit here and, and lie on Terrence. Do that. That's, I don't, I don't move like that. That's why I never got down with that. But a lot of these goofy content creators, what they do, they, they still run with it to this day. Now look at you. You guys are weirdos. The calm is all over y'all. Y'all killed Earl Spencer's brand. Like I said, y'all killing Devin Haney's brand right now. The news by Shaw. No, smash the like button. Please. If anybody wants to come in here and debunk any of these things that I'm saying, the link is right here. The link is right here. You know, these guys talk it. I really walked it. These guys talk it. I really walked it. Oh, man, look at these guys. Oh, my God. Look at this. What the hell is this? What the hell? Oh, man, a real street fight. No, this ain't no street fight. Because that other nigga in the, with the blue on, he ain't putting up nothing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> What type of buffoonery is this, man? Unbelievable, man. Did you see that? That was that was a that was two big barrelly niggas, man. That's why you gotta have a rocket on you, man. Now, had that brother had a rocket on him, he might have you know avoided all of that, man. Because if he would have had a rocket, they would have knew, like, yo, I'm not playing, bro. I am not playing. But look what Connor Ben posted, man. I guess Conor Ben got the memo. Hopefully, Boost Ennis gets down with it, man. Remember, I talked about that a couple months ago at the spot when I gave Jerron Ennis and them that, that free consulting service. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that when I said, yo, Boots, man, maybe you should try to fight Conor Ben. You, you want millions of dollars. They got the money for you. Remember, I told y'all that? Let's see what happens, though, with this, though, man. Y'all remember that? Somebody hit Bozy up. Hit Bozy up, man. See, I had to, I had to smack the wall for that. I had to smack the wall. Cause remember, I talked about that, man. That was my bell. I don't use the soundboard no more. I no longer use the soundboard. I, 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 I incorporated the soundboard. Now I smack the wall. See, I smack the wall. But yeah, yeah. Do y'all remember when I said that? And I think, I think a couple of the Philadelphia guys tried to jump in my shit. You know, the, the all these all these guys that be inside the experts with no stats. Yeah, they 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 tried to come for me. They came for me, man. Y'all remember that they came for me. Like, oh, he can't fight Connor Ben. The IBF will never approve of that. You don't know what you're talking about. The IBF will approve of anything when it comes to the money. If they get paid off, if they get paid off, right? They will approve of anything. Hold on. Give me a second. I am going to go grab a beverage. I finished my coffee.
All right, y'all, I'm back. I, I, I want to grab the beverage real quick. Y'all, I love when my kids are in school. And you see how quiet my home is, man? Mm. See how quiet the home is? That's why I didn't even, I didn't even run down to the library to go do this. I, you know, I said, y'all could just chill at the crib. Nobody's here. Um, but yes, hopefully there's something happens with this man. Boots will get a bag, a big bag, you know. And if he's smart, right, he could probably even get the biggest, biggest bag if he's willing um, to go over there, over there, right. He is a world champion. It's all about maximizing the dollars, right. And if he's who he is, says he is, and who they, the people say claim he is, right? Why not go over there and fight Conor Ben? Right? Why not go over there and fight Conor Ben, right? You know? You're the guy. You're that man. You know, why not go over there and fight Conor Ben? You know, why not go over there and fight him? Yeah, did y'all see my? Did y'all see my new whistles that I got, man? I got a couple new whistles, man. Nice ones too, man. Nice. Uh, uh, um. Yeah, every time I see Joe, right? Yo, Joe's like a big kid. He always wants to see my whistles, right? I'm like, yo, bro, you're, you're a big kid. I got a couple of nice new whistles, man. And uh, I got, yeah, I, I got, I got the military police issue joints, man. The police role, you see, you know, I know a lot of cops, man. It is where it is, right? Don't I, I train, and I and I and I and I work out of the PAL, right? The Southern PAL. So you know me. Um, and, I, and, they, and these guys respect me now. They respect what I do. They respect how I change, right? Because so I ask these guys these questions, these, the law enforcement guys, even the military type of guys, about different <clears throat> whistles and rockets to cop. And they tell me, they you know, you, you, you want to get with the military, the police guy. They know the best stuff. So I, I got a nice one. I got, I got me a nice Glock. And shout out to my man, WCS, another former military guy i was talking with him about this man yeah i like i like that glock i got a nice glock 19 boy i tell you if it's on the hip real nice i can move around with it real smooth you heard don't know what's on me you know what i'm saying i like it man i like it now i showed it to joe yesterday he lost his mind you know joe joe's in the process of getting his shit together and then he will be a part of the source enterprises Sha new security, you know. But I, I like that Glock 19, man. I, that, that that Glock 19, right? I I am gonna let y'all know, man. Glocks are the way to go for those of y'all, man. That that illegal and can move around. Glock is nice, man. Glock 19, X Glock 19 fits in the palm of your hand real good, right on your side, you know. Just nice, comfortable, man. It's not big and bulky. Like, like a Glock 17, very big, bulky. You know, I don't, you know, if, if, if that's what you're into, it's to each his own. I'm not into that, man. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't need nothing big and bulky. I'm a cowboy, man. I just need something. And I can just grab it up. Like, what? What? You looking for trouble? You looking for trouble, right? You're looking for trouble, man. But let's see. Hopefully this happens for boot tennis, man. I'm going to keep a close eye on this, man. Connor Ben called him out, man. I, I, then I, I talked about this months ago, man. But, you know, y'all don't fuck with me over here, man. But maybe y'all fuck with it now because look who posted it. Michael Benson. Michael Benson. Michael Benson. Damn. Right here. This is right here. We get into some more topics. Right now, don't act funny, right? Because this is what all you guys do. All you internet weirdos do is sit on Twitter and share tweets and all that. Look what Oscar said. He's talking about Canelo. He's talking about Canelo. Y'all see this tweet? Y'all see this tweet? Yeah, y'all see this tweet because this is y'all source. This is you guys' source. Y'all seeing this tweet? Look. 
Now, don't act like y'all didn't see this tweet. I'll blow it up for you. Who's the biggest duck of this generation? Who's Oscar talking about? Canelo. Did y'all see that tweet? I gotta get on. I gotta get on and check to see if y'all was been talking about that. Did y'all see that tweet? Man, it's for y'all in. Somebody comment, man. Don't 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 get all quiet, man. Y'all over here, man. See, I, that's why I don't like really rocking with uh, YouTube. This whole joint, I have people in here. Shout out to Ant Consequence in the building. He says, so you go from ordering a Mando, cancel purse bed, fight agreement with Crawley to have Ben put up a teaser cut. Ah, oh, man, damn. Nah, man, we, we got we to gotta look out for the good brother Boots, man. Boots needs a fight, man. I like the Conor Ben fight for him, man. It'll give him a big international bag. And I think he could, I think, if Boots is who we say he is, or who you know the the, the narrative is pushed out, he 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 has steamroll Conor Ben because Pete Dobson went the distance with this guy. You know Pete Dobson. Shout out to Pete Dobson. He was out there with with Africa in Vegas. I think Boots, right? If Boots is who we say he is, right? He beats this guy easy, and then listen, he has an international buzz, right? He has international buzz, man. Because I, I still see content creators, the showbiz guy. Shout out to show. They still want him to fight Crawford. You know, they, they are, these, these guys that, you know, a lot of these guys want Crawford to lose just because he beat the shit out of Earl Spence, man. And showbiz, you can't even hide this shit no more. All, all the guys that were pro Spence guys, right, pro PBC guys, and Earl Spence got beat up bad and embarrassed. These guys want that shit to happen to Crawford. So now they're pushing Boots. Let Boots do what Boots needs to do. Fight Conor Ben. Fight Gary Antoine Russell. Fight these guys that's, you know, in your, what's the name? The goofy, all these goofy, weird internet niggas that want to put Boots in the categories with fighters that he's not really in the category with. Come on, man. Stop it, man. You guys are killing the sports. Cancers. Kansas, but thank you for that comment and consequence. Appreciate you, my guy. Yeah, you know how that goes, though. You, you're absolutely right. But I listen, I don't want to shit on these guys like that, man. I, I want to see these guys fight and grow and, and, you know, start getting to it, man. Start getting to it because, you know, he Boots was in a, a legal situation. He's out of that. He, now he's a promotional free agent. Um, he, he has an opportunity now, man. When I, I talked about this a while ago, hopefully he takes advantage of his opportunity. We just got to wait to see, man. We just got to wait to see. But, hey, what do I know? Appreciate the comment. Appreciate the comment. But Oscar De La Hoya is not playing. He's front on Canelo, man. You know, that, that that's a that's a real Mexican beef right there. Because <laughs> Oscar's Mexican, too. Oscar's pretty probably sour that he left Golden Boy. You know, those, those guys are still, you know, because think about it, right? Ah, he left Oscar. Oscar lost a lot of money, bro. Oscar lost a lot of money. That's all it's about. It's about money, man. You know, it's about money, man. Oscar's not eating with that guy anymore. You know? So he lost a lot of money. And when you lose money, money will do that to you, man. Money will do that. Why, why, why do you do that to you? I uh, look. Somebody commented and said, "They said my new grippy looks good on me." See, yeah, it does. You know, it does. It fits good. I like, I like that whistle, man. I'll blow that whistle, man. Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me, man. You know, the news by Shadows. He was looking for trouble. He was looking for trouble. You know what I mean? He was looking for trouble. Let's move on. Shout out to Red Man, Reggie Noble. Look at Tevin Farmer, man. Yo, I want to. I touch on this too, real quick, right? I see a lot of y'all talking crazy about Brawny leaving for the pros, right? Um, let me tell y'all something, right? For those y'all thinking he's not ready, he does, it's not about him not being ready, right? The question is, do you think he's going to get drafted, right? As a GM, an NBA GM, 
Would you draft um, Bronny James? Would you draft him, right? How, how many GMs, right, in the league, the NBA, the association, is going to draft him just off the strength of his namesake, right? How many? How, how many do you think he's going to get a job for? Because the, the association is just like any other business, right? It's just like any other business, right? Would you say that his father, LeBron, the Don, has done enough in the game of basketball that his name, right, James, right, will get his son a job from one team in the NBA? At least one team is going to be like, you know what? Your father is LeBron. I am going to draft you and put you on my roster because your father. Now you will have time to develop and get right. How many teams do you think is going to do that? Right? Because I, I watched guys yesterday talk. Like, see, that's how people don't really know how business is ran and done, not done. I think they call that nepotism when the family name and all that. But how many GMs do you think is going to do that though? Like, this is we're talking about. Bronny James, a kid that has been around the NBA since a baby. And his father is probably all we want the best to have done it. So you don't think he's going to get drafted? Listen, I think right now, and look, who wants to debate? The link is there. If his brother, him and his brother declare for the draft, even though his brother can't officially declare, because I think he's 11th grader, you know, next year would be his senior year. But if his brother, Bryce, Declare for the draft right now. He would get drafted, man. He would get drafted, man. Facts, man. And consequence. You know the game, man. You know the game, man. You know the game. You, you get drafted, man. But see, you can't tell these weirdos this shit, man. They don't know nothing, man. These niggas just know sign a contract. Man. Yeah, they know jumping on the internet telling niggas to sign a contract. What contract? What terms? Did, did you see the term sheet? Sign a contract. You know? But he, he would definitely, definitely get drafted, man. Yo, peep game, man. I, I'm, I'm two hours in. Yo, look, look. I'm two hours in. This this is a real show right here, bro. I didn't even take that many uh, commercial breaks. I am two hours in. No notes in front of me. Killing this for y'all, bro. Killing this for y'all. There it is again, Blair Cobb. Shout out to my man, Smoke Session. He had this character on his show. Maybe you can get him back on again, man. He's going to need all the promotion he can get because these guys right now are at the bottom of the barrel. Hopefully guys buy this fight. They support this fight because these guys are at the bottom of the barrel right now. <laughs> Respectfully. Yeah, they are at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, th this fight is like a Foster's beer. You know Foster's, right? Foster's is a cheap Australian beer. A Foster's beer is considered like a 40-ounce malt liquor. That's what these guys are right now. These guys are at the malt liquor of boxing. But they got a name, man. And if they play this out right, this, this could turn into some type of uh, event. You know, the CAB, yo, AB was that guy, bro. You know what I mean? He was that guy, man. Shout out to Dom King, though, giving these guys the opportunity, man. Only in America. Only in America. <laughs> Yeah, niggas, niggas be thirsty. Yeah, they, yeah, this this is what they really want for this guy, man. But the fact that he's not embraced like this by the greats and Shakuras, it hurts these guys, man. It hurts these guys, bro. You know what I mean? It, it, it hurts these guys, man. Oh man, this was Abdullah. He's up too. 413. He's up too, man. He is up too, man. Young Abdullah Mason, man. The Mason Mob, man. I like that family, man. Real solid brothers. He's the first fighter that I shot ringside for, man. Not even Jahai, see? A lot of y'all always talk about me and Team Tucker. I shot for these guys first. He said they already uh, reserved another arena with WNBA. 
Caitlin for increased capacity. Yes, she she's another big um she's gonna be a star. Iowa Buckeye, Hawkeye, I say Buckeye, uh, Ohio Buckeyes. Because I'm talking about an Ohio fighter right there, Abdullah Mason. Abdullah, shout out to them though, man. The Mason brothers and the Mason family. I mean, official. They are official, man. They move like a military unit, man. That's why, listen, if you're a goofy-ass nigga, I'm just giving you a little heads up, man. They're not going to fuck with you, bro. <laughs> I cover these guys, man. Once, yeah, once they know you're a gimmick, they they not fucking with you, man. If you know, you know, man. They go off of the vibes and the energy, man. They're militant, man. I ate, I ate with these guys, too, man. I mean, shout out to that, man. He's going to be something, man. I, yo, and I tell people this all the time, right? Jump on him now, right? He, he's yo, he's another like, he just turned 20. You, you might have missed the window, man. See, guys like him, right, the young guys that get on at 17, right, you, you got to get on them early, bro. Because when, when you let them finally figure it out and start coming into manhood and they get they get a lot of season fights in them. They're gonna fuck you up, bro. You gotta fight these guys when they're young, or try to get on them young. Get on them in the gym young. Try to beat on them early, cause if once once they figure it out, and they get the taste of manhood and man strength, man, they're gonna be problems, man. They're gonna be problems, man. They're gonna be problems, and Abdullah's gonna be one of those guys, man. Very skilled. Very, very skilled. Shout out to him, 413. He's up, man. Abdullah is moving. Yo, now, is this Photoshop? Look, he said these guys were giants. Look how big these people were, man. Look at, these, look at this shit. This shit is some different type of shit. What happened to these giants? They're still around. They're hiding. Yo, they, 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 yo, they, they are in remote areas hiding. Yo, if you watch the King Kong movie, right? For those of y'all that seen that shit, watch the King Kong movie. These people are still around. He said, the, yes, I, I, I agree, uh, Consequence. I agree. They are, man. They're going to take over, man. And the good thing about them is I'm, I'm in good with a lot of those guys, man. Those guys are my peoples, man. You know? That's why, yo, listen, I, I invested in those guys, man, because I seen the vision, man. When when them older, washed up, alcoholic, drunk, drug addicts tried to get at me, I didn't care. I said, y'all fucking with these young boys, man. These young boys is about to take over, man. These young boys is about to take over, and that's what you see going on now. They taking over, and I'm right there with them. And all you old, washed up heads, hating, jealous motherfuckers. Now y'all telling these young boys that I ain't solid, I ain't just yeah, they laughing at you, man. They like, nah, not so. They like, where was y'all at? You wasn't with me in the gym. They like sauce was with me in the gym, man. You wasn't with me in the gym. Look, you wasn't with me I in the gym. Right, Sam. Sam, Sam, school you, school you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, y'all wasn't with us in the gym. I was with the young boys in the gym, man, because I knew a lot of you older niggas had drug problems. <laughs> yeah, I knew a lot of you old dudes was drunks and alcoholics, man. I wasn't fucking with y'all, man. Y'all was like JB. Rest in peace to Ricky Harris. He said, I don't want to be with JB. He drinks too much. You know, y'all wasn't in the gym, man. I was in the gym with the young boys, man. You know, I was getting right with the fellas, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all was getting right like y'all do now. Y'all come online and get right, and then be mad, right? Y'all hit, y'all, 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 y'all. Listen, if you ever notice the guys that do drugs online, right? At the at, yo, at, when their drugs start kicking in and reality sets in, they be like, they look, they look at their body of work. They, y'all, they just get mad. They get mad, right? I'm gonna tell you why they get mad because reality sets in. Look, I'm gonna put this up there because I'm about to make a great point. Yo, when reality stats in, right, on all these internet weirdo guys, right, that talked about people that actually got motion and moving and grooving, and reality sets in, right, and a lot of these guys, they 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 done nothing, right, but sit on the internet, and they can't, they can't produce an actual receipt, 
what happens, man? The drugs start to wear off, the alcohol and all that shit wears off, and they be like, man, I ain't shit. And then they know that you are the shit. You know the vibes. Another day in the office. All star right here. You know another day in the office. School you, school you. That's right. All star. Braun, Braun. Yeah, yeah. Another day in the office. We just getting that work. Yeah. Road to greatness. J Prince boxing, top rank, ESPN. You know the vibes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, you guys wasn't in the gym, man. See, if y'all was in the gym and y'all was listening to guys that was in the gym, you would have had the news by shadows. You would have knew. But you know what y'all was doing? Y'all was on this internet. Y'all was in y'all feelings. Y'all was talking behind the scenes, wanting to know why this guy's not big and all that. Because I'm not a gimmick. You niggas is gimmicks. I wasn't buying views. I was really doing the views, man. So, and then when I would come on here and I would tell you, like, oh, no, this guy's not really like that. He's not like that. It's because I knew that. You guys didn't know that. But the ones that didn't know it, instead of wanting to network and fuck with somebody that knows it, what did they do? They tried to link up with other weirdos and do weirdo activities. And then try to shit on the people that was doing it. Unbeknownst to them, these guys were moving like undercover boss. So you're going to shit on the CEO. And you're not even a worker. You're not even a worker, right? Because if you was a worker, you wouldn't shit on people that you know actually have work and work and put in work. But when you're a gimmick, you're a buster, you're a fraud, you're a scammer, that's what you do. You try to shit on people, try to snake people, but make sure you're not snaking somebody that is moving and grooving because they will remember that. And when it's time to cut your motherfucking head off, that's what they're going to do. The news by Shana's. But let's move on. Look, we are two hours in. Two hours in with information, content, and real good boxing. Y'all remember this? Man, this is this is when Zab rocked Mayweather. You see now he yeah, he, he rocked him, but they did not count that as a knockdown. I remember that man. He dropped him. Mayweather's glove touched the, to the cameras. That should have been scored a knockdown. That should have been scored a knockdown, but it wasn't, man. It wasn't. Those were good fights back then. Great fights. Y'all remember that? This is what End Consequence was talking about right here. She's a star, man. She's on her way. Big time. Big time. Yeah, big, big time. Yeah, you got yeah, you guys don't like when I do when I when I go to your sources. This is you guys' sources, man. All you internet weirdos, this is y'all source. Y'all be on Twitter, man. You know how, you know how many weirdos I, I watch. Fake ass insiders. I said, this is all y'all do. Y'all sit on Twitter. Then y'all try to front on dudes that 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 be here, right? You niggas been weird, man. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of you weird niggas, man. Because you, you niggas would be on this internet all on here on Twitter and then have the audacity to front on niggas that's actually doing it. And guys like him was talking about y'all. Catch this vibe. My friends be like, how come you not famous yet? I be like, you didn't share my shit. How come you ain't shared it yet? That's what I don't understand. Word. When they when they when they when they when they ask my people why I ain't big and all this, I'd be like, yo, why you ain't share my shit yet? You on the internet all day, every day. But it's cool, right? It's cool because you know, by you not sharing or speaking on the ones that's actually doing it, you know, we we took off now. We 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 bounce, man. We we we're jumping in and out of planes and moving and moving around. And I always told y'all, right? Then I said, I said, yo, when when, when, when we take off, right? Because, you know, we're going to take off. When, when we take off and we're, and, we're, and we're doing things like this now, right? 
Yo, Zaga, Slime Master. Yo, man, shout out to Sauce Talk, man. We in books and shit now. Oh, uh, man, what's that feeling like, man? First, first press conference, you walking out, the people are noticing you, saying, yo, he's in that book. He's in that book, man. What's that feeling like, man? You know, it feels good, man, you know? Um... I actually want to get it going for this fight, man. Get out the way. You know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely, man. But, yo, just describe that first press conference, you know, two days out. You know, you was on the main stage, you know, Q&A. What was that like, man? It was fire, you know. It was real, real fire. Um, shout out Top Rank. Shout out Bob Barrow, man. Shout yeah. out Sauce Talk. Shout out Jay Prince, man. Yeah, definitely. You know? and, and, and we're here, you know, and we're going to keep going. We're going to keep being here. We're going to keep going up. Yeah. No cap. That's a fact, man. Yeah, we know we still slamming, man. Yeah, still man. Still walking down, man. We here. Man. Yeah, Prudential Center. Yeah, Prudential Center. Center. You see where it's at. Downtown Newark. Downtown Newark. Shakur, Shakur Stevenson card. Yo, everybody was talking about my man was in there dapper, man. Yo, you know, got the, what is that, velvet? Got the nice suit on. Velour. You know, got the got the specs on, the shades, styling on them. You know. Yeah, roll that up for yeah. AB. Yeah, AB, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, man. It's a little behind the sauce with your hot sucker. I got you. Yes, y'all see, man. And I was telling y'all this shit, man. When y'all was on the internet talking crazy about me, right? Y'all was talking crazy about me, man. We was in motion. We was in motion, right? And a lot of you guys that was talking crazy and talking down on the brand, and the moon and the movement and all that. I told you guys this years and years ago. And you niggas is weirdos, right? And for you weirdos, you should have been listening. I take my shit and strive, nigga. I'm a man at the end of the day, nigga. That's real. Niggas don't owe me nothing. I don't owe niggas nothing. You right? It's you, we got friends out here this day that don't post shit. How many friends you know never post nothing you did, nigga? That a you lot. grow with. A lot. Thank you. I got the same shit. I got a friend on the way that right now. Don't do shit. I'm not taking no niggas with me. Hell no. You gonna stay right there, nigga, when I go. You don't show the same love I show niggas. I show everybody love. Like, you supposed to show that back. Niggas be on your page. Niggas won't like your shit. Why follow me? You right. You'll stroll right past a nigga page. You'll look at it and won't like it. Why are you here? Hmm. Why are you here? Talk to him. Delete yourself, nigga. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Bitches too. Delete Why y'all here, man? <laughs> Delete yourself. Why are you here? That's fire. Delete yourself. It don't make sense, son. It's just crazy. And niggas, and niggas will be looking at you like you wrong when you get on and leave, niggas, too. Yeah, facts. Yeah, you're right. They ain't be looking at you like you did something wrong. No, nigga, you did something wrong. You ain't support <laughs> me, nigga. You ain't do shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why y'all look at me like I'm wrong. I don't understand why y'all look at us like we wrong. When I was coming on the internet, I was talking. I was, you know, networking with a whole bunch of weirdos. You guys were talking about me. You guys are weirdos, man. So now when I leave y'all and I don't want to fuck with y'all, but I can still come on here and just continue to show the growth of not only me, but my whole entire family, my daughters, my nephews, everybody around us. And you niggas are still right there. What age did you um, start boxing? I started boxing when I was seven. Really? Mm -hmm. And what's it like to be on TV? It's no? This guy just don't look at the cameras. Okay. <laughs> man, what's it like to be on TV, man? Don't look at the cameras, man. You niggas was looking at the wrong cameras. The news by Shaw News. Hopefully you caught that sauce. And you guys are doing some real views, right? Because it's always about the views, right? This is your boy, Jamel Superfire Herring, and I'm with the best in the world, the best from Long Island, the Sauce Talk Podcast. Hey, we doing big things. Shout out to everybody out there in LA as well. Superfire, salute. Yes, you know the vibes. <laughs> yes, we doing big things. Shout out to my man, Mel. Mel just had a fight last week. Mel's doing his thing, man. He's doing his thing, man. Two hours strong, man, you know? See, when we have the time, we'll give, we'll give you the sauce. Quality over quantity, man. Quality over quantity. Has anybody seen that guy that went to cut the line? Do you know what line he's cutting now? You know, at 11.30, when we do the, the 7-Eleven giveaway, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about um, 
that, man. You know, he he attempted to cut the line, and now we're hearing talks that Crawford, you know, is, he can cut the line. Who's he going to end up fighting? I'm going to talk about this, too. I, I, I want to speak about this. Alicia Baumgartner, she, 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 she bit off more than she could chew, man. Clarissa's on her helmet, man. Now she wants to play the victim. Rest in peace to the diabolical biz. That is biz, man. Biz passed away. COVID got a hold of him, man. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we, we work it, man. We are, we are working. No gimmicks over here. You know, that's a big ass cat. Right there. Look at that cat, man. Big ass bobcat. Is that a bobcat? That is a big ass cat. Look how long the tail is, man. Yo, this was the jam right here. How many MCs must get this? This is Brooklyn. They was in the projects right there, man. Now, I, I will play the audio on that, but I don't want to. This was Black Moon back in the day, man. They was in the project hallways. Now, I many dudes probably got robbed up in there. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that this video shoot, but you know, you know, the projects was a is a grimy place, man. How many MCs must get this? Shout out to Black Moon, man. Classic, class right there. <laughs> but yes, the the, the 7 30k giveaway is going down in about an hour. I will be at a a, a, a secret location. <laughs> yeah, I, I will be at a secret location doing a thirty thousand giveaway, man. Yo, H Dub, if you're still out there, man, you got any bit of that thirty thousand left, and you want to become a silent well, no, listen, I'll be the silent partner. You will be out there, man. Like I said, I ran down the plan for you, man. Twenty thousand, man. Hopefully, you still got twenty thousand left. You know, you you drunk the bottle of Moet with your wife, and you went on a little vacation. But if you got twenty thousand left, H Dub, we could get you in the game. Twenty rats can get you three fighters. And it can turn you into a ticket broker. Holla at me, HW, if you're still out there. Because this other guy that gave you the money and these other guys that invest in the money, um, they have no clue about these things, man. But they, they're supposed to be all of these guys in the game. You know? They're supposed to be all of these guys in the game. How many MCs must get this? You know, how many MCs must get this, man? <laughs> you know, it feels good to be back on the YouTube scene, you know. I just took a little break, man. I, I want I want the guys to get their feet wet. But they did not get their feet wet at all, man. I, I don't. It is what it is, man. You know, 413 Corpus Christi, then Brooklyn, New York, man. Hopefully some of you guys, that you local guys, get out there to the Barclay Center, man. Pretty sure. Just, just get out there. Take the Atlantic Terminal train. They're going to be giving out a lot of tickets for free. So that, that should not be an excuse as I couldn't get a ticket. The tickets ain't selling. That's you Listen, you niggas that come on here and be like, yo, man, I ain't go to the flight because I couldn't get a ticket. I guarantee you if you're at the Barclays Center anywhere around Atlantic Terminal, you will get a free ticket. Because them tickets is not moving. And, and for some of you guys that do these major donations and refresh and super chats, listen, fuck donating to these goddamn YouTubers. Go buy some of these tickets, man. Go buy some of these tickets, man. Because these YouTube content creators, the jig is up. They don't do shit in boxing. It's showing right now. Some of these more popular Devin Haney channels do absolutely nothing. Nothing. And it's showing. They do absolutely nothing. Nothing in the sport of boxing. It's showing, man. The jig is up, man. But we are here this morning. We're about to go to the 7 Eleven in about, you know, it would take an hour. The 30,000 giveaway. Slurpees. Big gulps, big bites, nachos, beef jerky, all the good stuff. We're going to give it away at 1130. 
you know, we're giving away the deals, man, because I think we are at almost uh, 4,800 subs. So we're doing a 4,800 sub 30K giveaway. <laughs> yes, we're, we're not playing no games with these clowns, man. These old, these old Ringling Brother Barnabas Circus clowns, man. It's internet clowns, man. That's what these, that's what these guys are. Internet jealous clowns, boxing clowns. Yes, we are. We are nine. Well, no, uh, yes, nine away from forty eight hundred. So we're, we're we're just doing it early. We're doing a forty eight hundred thirty k giveaway at Seven Eleven Promotions over here. So we will be at a secret location doing that man at 11 30 that, that goes down in a half an hour man a half hour man so we're just showing you how we could do this too man we could do this too a salute to everybody that's been in here you know people been in and out this live stream i've been on for two hours man two hours talking boxing twitter topics because that's what you guys do right you talk twitter topics on the internet also gave you guys or well, hw for if you're out there I gave you a, a, a free consultant how to flip that 30 racks if you really want to get into the game. You know, I can get you three fighters at 3%, right? Because I'm not going to put you on to my particular fighters, but I could get you three fighters. But I will put you on to my particular three for 3% of that. <coughs> and then you will be like a, a manager, You'll be a real manager. You know, a lot of these guys claim to be all these things, but then they're not even media. And they talk about media. But I will put you on, H Dub, for 3%. You got 30 racks, man. I know guys that have started with less and become big, big, big commodities in the game with less. You know, I know guys that have become big commodities, but only this right here. This right here. If you pay attention, you might be looking at one. The news by Shaw News. This is the source experience. The source. Got him. <laughs> Got him. You know. The news by Shah News. This is the source experience. Gotta have the moves, baby. You gotta have the moves. You know, you gotta have the moves. <laughs> gotta have the moves, baby. You gotta have the moves, man. You got the moves or what, man? Y'all got the moves? Ooh, starting on you. Ooh, starting on you. <clears throat> Ooh, starting on you. Shout out to everybody that was in here with me. <clears throat> Ooh, starting on you. Ooh, starting on you. <laughs> Ooh, shout out to Wise Owl. You know, I, I stay wide out loud, man. You know, shout out to Wise Owl Box. And they got a couple shows coming up. April, June, then June. You know, they moving the groove in April, too. Charles Conwell is on that 420 card. Ooh, stun on you, bitch. I don't want to risk you. Ooh, stun on you. Yes, this is Source Talk, Showtime, Shadows, Midi. See, I got the man himself, Mr. Sugar Hill. 
First off, champ, thank you for your time. This is this man needs no introduction. Sugar Hill on sauce. Talk. That's that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, stunning on you. Oh, stunning on you. Shout out to Sugar Hill, man. Crunk brings the funk. That is the Crunk gym right there. They bring the funk, man. Crunk brings the funk. Let's throw, let's throw this one, one up. Listen, we, we got to go get in route on our way to 7-Eleven. You know, we're going to get it in gear. I got to get to the to the location, y'all. I'll be right back on at 11.30. I promise, y'all. I promise. Scout's honor. <laughs> Yo, scout, Scout's honor. And be on the lookout for the merch. We got the merch coming. Um, the new the new hats and all of that. Remember, I switched it up. Remember, this 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 used to be it right here. No longer this. No longer that. It's all about this right here now. But y'all remember, I had many merch like this. None of that merch no more. It's all about this right here. This is this the, the merch is coming, man. New trucker and all that. It's time. It's time to flood the streets with the merch, man. You know, different varieties of the hats. I think it's four different varieties, right? Patches, though. They, these these are going to be patches, no embroidery ones. The patches and all of that is coming back. Um, yeah. But shout out to everybody that's been a part of the growth. Shout out to everybody that's been a part of the weirdo. You know. The, the downplay, because now when, when the when the merch this starts flooding the market, and you guys still have done like I said nothing as media, media, media. When you talked about a media mogul, right? I was an independent media mogul. I I, I think that's a fair assessment to say, right? I, I do because when 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 a media mogul, real talk. Oh, starting on you, bitch. A media mogul, man. That's what I turned into, a media mogul. Because now, like I said, my, my, my daughters. Thank you. Oh, so, <laughs> one day you'll get your palate for Houston that rough bitch. Gotcha. Who's that? In? What else you got for me? Um, what's your favorite place to go? Favorite place to go is the beach. I love the beach, yo. Anywhere, if there's a beach nearby, I love to go there. Relax, walk along the beach, barefooted, get my feet dirty. Yeah, no doubt, stick my foot in the water. I don't go in the water, though. Uh, there's sharks and stuff in there. Nah, I don't mess with that. All right? Hey, look at my height. Hey, look at my height. I'm sure. I can't play no basketball. Yes, you can. No. I believe you can. Yeah, shout out to CEO Messiah doing it big. Messiah is a a man. She's a hell of a photographer, right? I told y'all that, right? Y'all seen some of her work, right? Her work has been all over the game. Look, I'm gonna show you some of Messiah's work later for my work. Like I said, I'm a media mogul now, man. I promote and market my children as well. But Messiah's work, yes, Messiah's published work. It's all over the game. I'm going to show you some of the size frames, man. You know, and, I, and I'm still waiting for some of you guys that talked about us, man. Because, you know, when you, when you talked about me, you talked about them as well. When you lied on me, you lied on them as well. This is some of the size published work as seen all over the game. Bang. Pow. Look at that, right? Look at that. Man, look at that water. It's Messiah right there. Look. That's Nasaya once again. Look at that, man. That is Million Dollar Marley. You know, you, you see, I, I can't take credit for this because that's me right here working the ring apron. The ring apron. Look, I also got this logo. Y'all want to see this logo right here? Look, watch me change my logo in the corner real quick. Look, bang. Bang. I'm going to use that one for now. 
you know, invest in your brand. I use that one. You see, I changed the logo up real quick. I'll keep that one up there, man. That has my name. This has my name too, but you know, I like I like I like that one. I use I use that one right now. You know that watermark. I'm gonna use that one. Shout out to WCS, man. WCS, I am almost out the door. I'm about to go to 7-Eleven. We have the 30K giveaway. Be on the lookout for that. The 30K giveaway at the undisclosed 7-Eleven at 1130. We will be giving away big gulps, um, slurpees, big bites, um, beef jerkies, nachos, and all of that. For the we we are almost at 4,900 subs. So we are doing the 30K uh giveaway at 7-Eleven promotions. Be on the lookout for that. About 30 minutes. Look, see your Nasaya more images by Nasaya. Bang! Look at that right there. This was fight camp mode right here. As you can see, we are in the field. This is Jihad Tucker. This is all family right here. This is Million Dollar Marley. All family right here. Fight camp. This is stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Normally, I'm behind the lens. But like I said, I am a media mogul as well. My kids are part of the company. So CEO Nasai was able to capture that frame. These are all, you know, this is her work. There she is again right here. You know, gym life. For those of y'all, you guys don't be in the gyms. You guys don't be in the gyms, right? But that is all my baby's work. I am a media mogul. I am a media mogul. And if you guys are looking for employment and are willing to start out at entry level positions, and I feel that your resume and your reference, please have references though. Now, if you have a good reference and a resume, like I just showed my young daughter's uh, resume of quality of work, maybe I can refer you or I can, you know, help you out. You know, maybe I could get you some work. Cause like I said, I do know a lot of fighters. I I do know a lot of managers, and I you know, I, contrary to what these guys said about me, you know the weirdo guys. I do have a media catalog that is uh, available all over the game. You know, contrary to what these guys say. Now, as far as uh, a fighter, because I know people are still reaching out to me for fight dates and fights. Um, you got to be the goods. Uh, I'm not dealing with, you know, bullshitters. I am not dealing with no bullshitters with that. You know, a lot of you guys show that you guys were bullshitters on the media side of things. So when it comes to actual wanting to fight and do things, like I had a guy up the other week, right? I was like, yo, what's up, man? You know, you, you, you was out here, you, you, you're networking with people and all of that. Do these guys want to fight? What's up with them? As soon as I, you know, I when, when I when I when I get at guys like that, it, it, they they show they ain't really who they claim to be. They show who they ain't really who they claim to be. I'll be like, yo, I got dates. Do you want to fight? What happens? The jig is up. The jig is up. But you know, media wise, if you guys want to do some media things and you have. Uh, official catalog, like I just showed him my daughter. Holla at me, man. Holla at me. Maybe, maybe I could, you know. Because as you can see, unlike these other guys, I'm not bigger than the program. I work fights. Regional, bright lights, big stages. Um, I do these things. I, I do these things. And I know managers. And I, I know official people. You know, I know they said I wasn't official. But I, I, I can get on the phone right now and call an official manager that has dates all across the country. So it's not, you know, the, a, lot, a lot of you internet weirdos, you know, if you want to work, holla at me. But, oh, just know, if you was an internet weirdo that talked stupid on me, seven, seven percent. If I refer you and you get a job, <laughs> yeah, if, you get, if, if I refer you and, and, and you know, my resume is out there. I I, I I got guys that's on top rank. I, I got I got journalists that have written for credible papers, San Diego and all these, you know, military backgrounds that I can reference. 
to say, if I make a phone call, is my you know phone call valid? It's out there. Can you guys do these things? Especially you guys that talked about me. You know, as media. You know, you, you talked about me as media. Later, later for executive shit. You talked about me as media. But we're, now we're talking executive type moves. But y'all talked about me as media. And I still have yet to see you guys produce media type shit. But I'm on my way to 7-Eleven. 30K giveaway for 4,900 subs. You know, uh, big gulps, um, beef jerkies, big bites, all that good stuff, man. You know, I'm at the desk. I'm leaving the desk right now. You know, look, I'm 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 I'm, I'm piling up my memorabilia. See this one right here, special. You guys have this media work right here. This is the media marketing agent. Shout out to my babies for getting me this. You know, media marketing agent work. Look at that, man. <laughs> You guys have any of that shit? This is media work right here. And I, I don't think you guys have none of that, man. It's media work shit right there. Shout out to my babies, you know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to my babies. But yeah, we, we are on the way to 7-Eleven right now. 30K giveaway, you know? The 30K giveaway. <laughs> yeah, man, beef jerkies and big gulps. All that good stuff, man. Come come holler at me, man. Um, 30K giveaway, man. I will be right back. I'm heading to 7-Eleven, man. Um, shout out to WCS in the building, man. Keep killing them, WCS. Great content. Um, great, great stuff that you're doing. And I appreciate all the work that you have helped the team grow as far as, you know, always mentioning Jihad and Marley and myself and, and my children, the things that we got going on. Cause you know, we need quality guys out here to speak on quality work because we get enough bullshit out here and bullshit haters, right? And jealous motherfuckers that, you know, see people doing things. And, and, and for you guys out there that are looking for sponsorships, you know, looking for sponsorships and want to know how to do the things, holla at me, man. Holla at me, man. Cause there's, you know, there's, there's ways to do these things. You know, there's ways to do these things and get, you know, sponsors, especially if, you, you know, you got a marketable fighter. And, 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 and you know, you, sometimes it's all about the pitch. It's, it's, it's all about the pitch. See, a lot of you guys don't have the right pitch. You know why you don't have the right pitch? Because you're a gimmick. Not only are you a gimmick, you don't know what you're doing. And then you want to front on the people that are actually doing it. Yeah, Huntington Honda. I need to run down some of the, the corporations that I have done business with, Rival Boxing. Yeah, the boxing gloves. You know, Rival. Do I, do I need to keep, why is that old boxing? Look, this is a million-dollar brand right here. Million-dollar brand right here, man. Look, why is that old boxing? They, they manage Charles Conwell, Javon Woodall, uh, Muscle Evans, um, Isaiah Carr. Right? The professional fighters and references right here. See the phone blowing up. Let me get my guy on. Joe, what's going on, good brother? You are on the show. You are on the show, man. You made the first. Yes, you are the first caller of the day. What's going on, Joe? Yes, great work last night with my cousin Trey Jones. This is uh, Joe Harris boxing. Trey is on his way Wednesday. Combat League. Trey is doing big things. He made the team. He's fighting. Uh, I think the fight's a Thursday or Friday night. Orlando Combat League. In two weeks, he's out in L.A. But this is the guy that got Trey started. Now Trey is out the door. So this is our. Uh, you know, we, we got a lot of fighters doing big things over here now. Yes, you know, Jihad, you know, Jihad is seen all over the game. June 8th with Jihad, Jamali Tucker, uh, you know, four-time decorated national champions. We are looking for NIL, NIL sponsors now for, for even Jihad and Marley both. You might want to get in with them now, especially Jamali Tucker while he's 14 years old, because as he gets older, the NIL 
uh, buy-in will be a lot higher. I'm just saying, man. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> yes, yes, nil, nil, yes. That is that is that is a sponsorship package. It's basically, you know, like uh, Dick Sporting Goods, Home Depot, um, you know, the bigger bigger corporations. You know, the bigger bigger corporations. Yes, yes. Well, well, well. He needs he need, he needs to get on board now. You know the 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 prices. Yesterday's price won't be today's price. You know the big the big the, the bigger the accolades go up, the higher the prices go up, Joe. Well, he's, uh, my, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. There you go. Exactly. Let's let let's let, let, let them know now. They they want to buy in now, right? Because this is like the stock market. You want to get in while the stock is low, especially when it's a rising stock of high, unlimited potential. Now, see, a lot of these guys didn't buy in early with Jihad, right? Now, look, I'm, I'm going to show I'm going to show you guys something, right? I want to say shout out to WCS, right? You know, this is the media marketing agent right here. Look. I'm gonna show you guys this, right? And this is my office, so I have all the memorabilia. But look, vintage sauce right here. Look, y'all remember this? Can y'all see this? Look, oh, stunting on you. Look, you see that? WCS got on board early with the movement. Look at that. Look at the memorabilia. Now these will be going out soon too. Look at that. See? This is real corporation type work right here. That was Jihad Tucker. Look, er, this this was early sponsorships right here. Early. So, I, you know, I was just talking about sponsorships and all that. Reach out to me, man. For those of y'all that's interested learning on how to do these things, right? Holler at me, man. I, th I think I'm going to start an online class. I'm going to start an online class. Because I, I watch guys attempt to do these things. You know what I'm saying? I watch, yo. Yeah. I, it, facts, you know, you know the vibes, W says, and you was a part of that. Look, I pull it up again. Look, I got, I got, I got. Listen, man, these guys don't even know, man. They they was online talking crazy about me, and I, I was putting in the real work. We was putting in the real work, man. Look at this. When, uh, these are gonna be getting autographed. These are gonna be getting autographed real soon, right? You know what I'm saying? Memorabilia, man. For a trainer, uh, you just look, Joe. I told you this shit last night, Joe. You can't be stealing fighters, man. You can't. <laughs> we can't. We can't be stealing fighters, man. Now, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you tonight. I'm gonna talk to you tonight, man, because we're on live. We can't. We can't give out all. We can't give out all the business online, Joe. All right, I'll talk. I'll talk to you tonight, man. You can't. Yeah, you gotta show them the punches. Don't listen. Don't disclose all of that now. We're online. I don't need you disclosing all of that now. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to you later. All right. That's Joe Harris, man. Joe Harris boxing. Can't give out all the secrets now. Let's do this up, man. Game is to be sold and not told. But that is vintage right there. That is vintage. You see the sponsorships all over the, the trunks, right? Get with me, guys. I, you know, you guys, you guys don't want to get with the ones really doing it, right? Maybe you get with me now. Look, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Let me throw it up again and make a face. Look. Look. You want to get with me now? Look. You want to get with me now? Look. I made the faces, man. Get with me now. <laughs> yeah, look, look. Yo, get, get with me now, man. Get with me now. <laughs> yeah, did I make the faces? Yeah, did I make the faces so now you get with me? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they get, yeah, WCS, when they get with me now, I made the faces, man. I made the actual faces right there, man. Get with me now, man. You know what I'm saying? When your guys get with me now, man, real talk, man. I made the faces, you know, but that that is that is Jihad Tucker. Those will be going out too, man. You know, I, I, I don't know, man. I, you, you guys on this internet, man, when you see people that actually do the things, and then you talk crazy about them. It's, it's, it's mind blowing to me. But like I said, man, um, get with the formula, the source print. HW, you still out there, brother? Yo, I can get you in the game, man. And I, I'm gonna look out for you, HW, because you, I, from from what I know, I don't know you never talked about me. So you you don't three percent, man. I I'll, I'll, I'll put you on twenty k. Twenty k gets you like this. They gave you thirty. If you got 20K of that left, I, I have you like this in no time for 3%, though, man. You know, I can get you three high end fighters, not, not low budget fighters, three high end fighters. You just heard my man right here, right? He was, you heard what he said. He's looking for fighters. He hit me up. He hit me up. Do I got any more fight? I told him, don't talk. We can't talk the business online. These guys be stealing. That's all they do. I'll talk to you later at the gym. But HW, if you out there, they gave you 30K. These guys that's supposed to be in the game, they gave a random. Well, we about to give away food. Beef jerkies, uh, big gulps, big bites, pizza, and all that at the 7-Eleven. I'll be there in about 30 minutes. I'm going to go live at 7-Eleven and give that away. But HW, if you still out there, look, 20K, I broke it down to you earlier on the live. 5k in tickets, 5k for one fighter, 5k for a second fighter, 5k for a third fighter. That's 20,000 of your 30k that they gave you. Gets you three fighters, and it turns you into a ticket mover. 5k in tickets for the 420 card is a big dent, major dent, right? Major dent because the tickets aren't moving. But if you buy $5,000 worth of tickets, promo code Devin Haney. I'm trying to teach you the game there, HW. Come holler at me. Because the dude that gave you the money, supposed to, he should have, I don't know, man. The news, by Shaw News. But hey, what do I know? You know, the guy gave you that money, and these guys are investing all this money. Are they really investing it? What are they really doing with it? Internet weirdos. You see why I say the things that I say? These guys are internet weirdos. He, he, I'm, I'm just trying to tell you. They, they talked about me. But I, 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 I listen, I can show my work in the physical. I can show my work on the internet. And I can show me doing the work. I, I, I was off for two weeks. I didn't. I, I, I said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to chill for two weeks. I gave y'all two weeks. And I said, when I come back on, I'm not only going to talk shit, I'm going to show shit. And, and, and that's what I did yesterday. Shout out to my cousin. He's out the door. Trey Jones, out the door. He's on the combat league. Combat league, man. He's, he's, he's in. He's in. He's in the combat league. Out the gym. Suffer PAL. Out the, out the door. You see, look, Joe's on him now. Joe wants to show him the bone crusher and, and the spine rattler because he knows he's about to be out there. Joe wants his punches out there. He's out the door. Trey gets a couple stops, man. You never know. Light heavyweight. You see, you, did you see the live I did last night in the gym where I was like, yo, you still on fighters? You can't steal fighters. He's with Source Enterprise, man. Source Enterprise, man. These guys talk about me, man. Where, where you guys at, though, man? Shout out to my man WCS for putting me on. Turning my family into media moguls. My daughter, she's one of the hottest photographers in the game, man. You know, she gets it from her father, but I can't take the credit. She's better than me. 
You know what I mean? The keeper's in me. She's better than me, man. She's better than me. I'm, I'm concentrating on other things now, you know? I am the media marketing agent, man. I got to do other things now. As you see right here, I'm, I, I got to get signatures and, you know, do other things, man. And shout out to all my lawyer friends, man. One thing about this game, right? Always have a good lawyer or know a good lawyer, somebody that knows how to look over. Look, notice I didn't say contracts. Right. Notice, have a good lawyer to look over term sheets because a term sheet is before a contract. You know, you get all these guys on here, they talk about sign the contract, but maybe we don't like all the terms. So it's always a term sheet first, and then they have to revise some of the terms. And then it turns into a contract. These guys get on and sign the contract. What contract? I didn't. What are the terms? Did we approve of all the terms? Well, hey, what do I know? I'm on my way to 7 Eleven, y'all. I'm, I'm, just give me, you know, I, I said 11 30. It's going to take me some time to get there. Hopefully, they got everything set up. They got all the beef jerkies and, and, and the chips and, and the dip. Out because we almost at 4,900 subs. We're doing a giveaway today, man. We're doing a giveaway. We're back, man. But yes, I appreciate everybody that came through. Come back through. I, I'm like I said, I'll be at the secret location going live. Going live, man. We're working, man. The news by Shadows. Almost three hours, man. Oh, I gotta. I didn't do enough of the faces. Here's the faces for y'all, man. But appreciate everybody stopping through. Like, share, subscribe. If not, it doesn't matter. Because like I said, we are doing this in real time. Real time. Not internet gimmick time. Real time. And one thing about when you do it in real time, they can't hide no more. They can't hide no more. So hopefully you guys start doing it in real time. But if you don't do it in real time, you just be like my man right here. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? The fuck is that? Oh. Shit! I'm dying in this fucking country ass fucked up town. <laughs> Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck? I can't see pilot. And let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. I can't even see me. <laughs> see? Y'all was out here talking crazy. Now shit flying all in your mouth. Shit is flying all in your mouth, man. Stop running your mouth, man. Stop running your mouth. It only takes for you to win once. You could lose... You could lose 10 years in a row and you hit that right jug. Bam! That shit changed the goddamn game. And guess what? They gonna bow down. So I don't care how rough it's been on you. All you gotta do is hit once. Pull off that one thing. That one thing in the back of your mind. You pull that off and guess what? They gonna... Oh, he a born winner. He did. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell.